from Mindless Crafting and Bill. How y'all doing today? It's release day, y'all. So come on in and join us. I'm just going to adjust my camera so y'all can zoom in closer. <coughs> Crystal, how are you? I see a couple of people in here. Happy Friday to y'all. I hope you made the best of your week. Um, we are super excited today because it's release day and I'm always happy to see what y'all think about this new stamp set. I'm going to actually, the digital is, this is going to be, this is the digital right here. And then we have a four by six release. Right. Hey, June, how are you? Who is that, June Scholar? Yep. <laughs> April is on. How are you, family? Good to see y'all today. Bill is going to go downstairs and do some stuff in the store to make the stamp set available. Y'all have been asking me about hints. <laughs> and the hint was that it's a four by six stamp set. And for both stamp sets, there's um, a 10% discount. So y'all had been guessing about it. So we actually had, I'm just going to go ahead and reveal it. I'm not even going to explain it. I'm just going to go ahead and do the reveal. Okay, so I'm going to do the digital first. And the digital is in the store. Uh, Bill went downstairs to actually do the little clicking thing or whatever he has to do to make it live, I guess. I don't know what he does down there, okay? <laughs> ah. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal the digital. So this is the digital stamp set. As soon as you purchase it, the file goes to your uh, email account and you can start printing them out right away and you can manipulate them in size. So here's the new Owl Love digital stamp set. <laughs> Owl love, okay. Y'all said y'all like owls. And I thought that this would be an awesome stamp set. I told John, give me different owls, like owls on the seesaw. <laughs> Guess who loves you? Guess who loves you? I mean, really? <laughs> so y'all told me that y'all loved owls. And I had John do an owl in a heart shape. I said, John, give me a heart shape owl. And he said, <laughs> he said, I said, just go ahead and just, uh, all I see is an owl in the shape of a heart. And he did it. Okay. June, you said, oh my goodness, Tracy, you are killing me with cuteness. <laughs> Isn't this adorable? And so he gave me branches too, because I told him maybe y'all want to just add your own branch and add something to it, like from another stamp set. So that's a nice thing too, that he gave me some of these branches here, like the limbs, right, of a tree. But aren't these cute? So he gave me this guy here and this girl right here with the eyelashes. Look how cute she is. Oh my goodness, is she not the cutest? And then, of course, here's the owl couple. <laughs> I'll go out on a limb for you. I mean, you just can't. You can make these things up, can't you? <laughs> Naomi, you love owls? So do I. I can't wait to see what y'all do with this. So we're going to be on for a little bit because I'm going to be creating cards today. You know, if you have like two hours, maybe two and a half hours, you know, just come on and let's go ahead and have some fun. Isn't this cute? And here's the one on the seesaw. Look at this. I, I just had childhood memories with this. And so I asked John to do an owl, two owls on a seesaw. Does anyone even do seesaws anymore? <laughs> Margie, oh, you said my mom, your mama loved owls. Yes. I couldn't help it. I mean, I love words. So y'all know I had to come up with something. I'll love you forever. If y'all don't hear Bill, he's downstairs. So he's going to yell at me when, when it's ready. I'll go out on a limb for you. This could be something for friends too. I'll be here for you. 
I love it. I give a hoot about you. <laughs> yeah, so look at this one. The owl, I'm going to make something out of this one right here. I did put some images, um, size some images so I can play today with y'all. And so I did make some larger images. Like you see this one right here. Um, look how small that is. I made it larger. So I can put a sentiment in there if I want to. So that's the nice thing about having the digitals is that you can manipulate them. You can manipulate them and make them smaller or larger. So this one I made slightly smaller. Okay. To put on my, and then this one I made a little bit bigger. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun this afternoon. <laughs> you said you're going to take screenshots to beg Tyler. <laughs> <sighs> the owls with the wing, the owls with the wing. Is that a girl? You know what? I don't know. That's a good question. I guess if you add little lashes to it, it could be a girl. I guess it could. It could be whatever you want. <laughs> Look how, oh my goodness. I, so we're going to be playing with this later, but this is the one. 14 images, 10% off. The digital is $9.99 um, with 10%. Bill knows all the prices. 10% off until Sunday. <laughs> uh, so this one is the digital. So that one, when you buy it, you it doesn't have to go through the mail. You just download it and you start creating. Okay. And this one here, wait till y'all see. Let me move this to the side, okay? So that's the owl love. Owl love will last forever. <laughs> oh, you could put a tiara on it. You sure can. Yes, you can. You could put a tiara on there. <laughs> I give a hoot about y'all. I hope y'all know that. Hey, Michelle. Stacy is on here. Well, I'm getting ready to release to release or reveal the photopolymer stamp set. This is the four by six. So this is not the larger one. This is the four by six. Y'all have asked us to send to create some of the previous ones and make those into a photopolymer. So this was a digital stamp set. Y'all asked us. So if y'all like to get started on your spring cards, guess what? It's here, beauty in everything. Now we have this in a digital and all of the all of the images could not make it onto a four by six. So of course we had to leave it, leave some of them out. So on the digital of the um, beauty in everything, you'll get more images on the digital. But we had to pick the ones. It was really hard to decide which ones. <laughs> I know we came out with two. We wanted to give y'all some variety. Hey, Linda Huffman, how are you? You caught us live. I love making those accordion cards. Guess what? I filmed the tutorial. So as soon as Bill finishes editing that, we're going to put up the um, accordion card tutorial. So straight tutorial for y'all. Look, so we're going to start making some cards out of, out of this one. We're going to start with this one first and doing the cards, but look how cute. This, oh my goodness, the flower, find the beauty in everything. Look at bloom. So you, this is one whole stamp. You just stamp it on your card and you color it in. Does all the work for you. So I'm gonna use all of these images and make some cards today. So that's why I'm hoping that y'all have time <laughs> to spend today. Yes, ready for spring. I mean, y'all might as well just go ahead. Before you know it, March, April is going to be here. Go ahead and start your spring cards. But to me, any of these can be used like for Mother's Day, birthdays. Um, I think weddings. Weddings would be nice with something like this. So we're going to go ahead and do something. Find the beauty in everything. Bloom with the flowers. Just 
the flowers bloom in the middle and the flowers just kind of hovering over it. So I'm going to stamp all of these out. And then of course the wreath. I love this wreath. So of course, if you got this in the digital, you can, you can manipulate them, but I know many of you weren't comfortable with digital. So this is what we have. And you can mix them with like the butterfly stamp set. Yeah. You can mix them with the Valentine stamp set. I mean, there's so much you can do. The Valentine stamp set has that butterfly heart on it. Yeah. I'm just giving y'all ideas. <laughs> hey, loadedcoco.com. How are you? Thanks for joining us. And then this right here, oh my goodness, I love this. These are attached, okay? So these little flowers right here are so cute and and so fun to color in. So definitely, if you like coloring, you're going to love this, um, this stamp set. So I'm going to pull out some papers here, and we're going to get started using this one right here. Um, Bill hasn't told me whether it's in the... Uh, he hasn't told me whether it's in the store yet, whether it's ready. So I'm just waiting for him. Can You know what, Linda, someone else asked me that. Can the digitals be uploaded to Cricut to cut out? Who's on here? I think someone was on here and they did it. I can't like, I can't remember who did it. They showed us how they manipulated, manipulated them. <laughs> in their cricket. Oh, Stacy. Stacy says yes you can. Okay. There you go. I don't have a cricket, so I don't know. Joy Sloan, she said yes you can upload. It's so amazing and you can layer a lot of the um the images too. So if this is not when y'all said y'all love owls, if this is not enough owls for you, okay? <laughs> this is a lot of owls. Hey, Donna Satterley, thanks for joining us. So I already have one already loaded onto uh, my stamping block. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp some of these out. We're going to just relax this Friday. Take a deep breath. <sighs> hey, Bertha, how are you? And we're going to do some creating. So all I did with this is I just kind of kept it clean and simple. And I just took some of the paper that I had already, this patio party. I love it because it reminds me of spring. Um, it's got lots of different uh, flower images on it. A lot of different fun patterns. So I thought it'd be nice to make some cards using that. Donna, you had an, a doctor's appointment this morning, so you have to leave. Oh, you have one this morning. Okay. It's afternoon here. I can't remember. I forgot we're in different time zones. I know Bill needs to hurry up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's been working on. He told me he was working on all getting all the stuff in the store this morning. So we'll have to blame him. Okay. So I use some of this paper and I just color coordinated with the, the pink and the, uh, the green. I thought this was cute to kind of crisscross it. So let's go ahead and start coloring some stuff in here. So I'll look up at your comments so that I don't, um, since Bill's not here, right? He's not here to, to talk. Okay, so I'm going to take that flower and get my ink. June, it's Saturday where you are. Oh, wow. So you're already into the weekend. We're just heading into the weekend now. I'm going to go ahead and, and um, cut a couple of these out. I had fun coloring this in. It's so easy to color and to cut out. Oh, Shelly, it's there. Okay, thanks, Donna. Bill didn't say anything to me. <laughs> He didn't say anything to me. He didn't tell me whether he, oh boy. He's probably down there getting a snack. 
So let me go ahead and just stamp a couple of these out. Stamp some sentiments. Let's see what I want to do with the sentiments. I'm going to stamp out a couple of these. Find the beauty in everything. Right? Find the beauty on in everything. Do I need to repeat it? Right? Find the beauty in everything. This is an all-occasion card. So you can say, you know, you can send someone something as a reminder, right? Find the beauty in everything. Crystal Talbert, you got your digital? I can't wait to see what you create, Crystal. I can't wait. Because no matter how many ideas you come up with, it's amazing how many ideas that so many of you come up with where it's like, oh, I never would have thought of that, you know? Okay, so let's get... I'm going to need some paper that's just... Because I'm thinking something like an embellishment type thing too. So... This is me just kind of thinking outside, thinking in my head. <laughs> Talking to myself and answering my own questions. Yes, these are easy to color and cut out. Like these would be a little bit more challenging, but you can still cut these out pretty good. You don't have to cut right close to the line. So let's go ahead and I like to use up all my space. When I'm doing these. Even stamping is therapeutic. Look how good that. Look y'all this ink. Look. If y'all have not gotten this ink yet. I mean it's absolute. Look how crisp and clean. Um, and this is a brand new stamp set. So it's not like one that I had to use over and over. It just right out of the gate. Start stamping with it, and it looks it looks great. So I'm probably going to need quite a bit of the leaves. I told them to get ready, babe. I was ready. Hmm? No, I told them to get ready because we. I said we're going to be on here for just a little bit, a little bit today. What kind of ink? This is a hybrid ink. This is our own. I'm so proud of it. Our own mindless crafting ink. It's a hybrid intense black ink. It's great for stamping and you can use it with both alcohol markers and water-based markers. So it's, it's a mindless, it's called mindless crafting ink and it's in our store. Kathleen, you're, oh, I'm, I'm late. Bill will share the link for you. She said, can you show the stamp set? You might have seen it already. Oh. So this is what we're releasing today along with the digital stamp set that y'all have asked us, begged us for owls. We have a lot of people who love owls, babe. Y'all begged us you know for what? owls. <laughs> a lot of you that were on here yesterday, you didn't catch it, but you were saying, give me a hint. And I said, who? <laughs> ah, Ooh. that's okay. what you said. I said, who? I think Diane Solomon said something. I said, Diane Solomon, who? Okay, so what weight of paper I'm using? I am using, this one is the 80, no, this is a one town, a 110 pound uh, paper, cardstock rather, and it's the Nina White, 110 pound cardstock. And I get this, this one I get off of Amazon. Okay, I want to, Stamp out some more stuff. Let me get let me get some of my papers here, y'all. If this if y'all didn't get this paper, this is a beautiful paper. This paper makes me happy. <laughs> Which lots of paper makes me happy. I'm gonna be cutting some of these out, adding my flowers. Michelle to Trito those. said, "Are you using cardstock to stamp with?" Yes, this is cardstock. I'm stamping with, stamping on rather. Ooh. And of course I'm getting choked up. Right? They have shown the weight of that paper, uh, I think it's, it's 10, right? Yeah, you just said it. 
Yeah, this and paper wait. that we did the um this one right here. Actually, this is an 85 pound paper, the one that we that went through the printer. Let me see my other one. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's 85 pound. I don't think I used the 110. This is the eight. This is an 85 pound paper that we sent through the printer to print these out. And we we actually have a good printer now. <laughs> it's an Epson 3750 Eco Tank. I love it. Hey, te Tex te Tex Terry. Linda Tex Terry one. How are you? She said I'm ordering these. Linda love Huffman them. says all Thank paper you. makes her happy. I know. It's just I'm gonna start coloring some of these in just because. Okay, so look at this paper here. It's got the little tags on them. So I'm gonna be cutting some of these out. So I want to add my flowers to these. So watch how all of this unfolds, y'all. Trying to do this mindlessly. However, I do have an idea in mind. Hi, Amanda. Amanda says, hey, love the logo on the ink pad and the stamps. I can't wait until to, to payday. Well, thank you. We are so proud of our first ink. And, you know, we actually have the re-inkers in also for this, for this um, stamping ink. So it's a great ink, especially if you're just kind of like me, where you're like, what ink works with what stamp and what 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 uh, marker works with what? And who told who? It takes the guesswork and, out. And who's on first base? Okay. <laughs> that part. It, ta it definitely takes the guesswork out. When they developed this ink, I have to tell you, Tracy tested it for several months rigorously before she committed to it. Well, I was, I actually called, right, I called the company to just ask about, like, what is the process for developing our own ink? And he, I said, I need, and I told him exactly what I needed. I said, because I'm a card maker and I like to color and I know exactly what type of ink that I like. And I need something that works with watercolor markers. I need something that uh, works with uh, alcohol-based markers. And um, and he said, I have one for you that we haven't released yet um, that I think would work. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, well, let me send it to you and have you try it out. Great company. Great company. Bertha. Hi, Bertha. Bertha is saying, when are you going to get the silver stickles in? That's a good question. Um, I think the company itself is having difficulty. Yeah, everybody's having like, yeah, a lot of companies during the pandemic, it's becoming harder and harder to um, to get things in because the plastic bottles or the little tops that hold the stickles, all that comes from someplace. Right, or somewhere down the supply ch the chain uh, list, somewhere. Right. There's a company that supplies something that is either went out of business or they're experiencing something, in, some deficiency in their supply chain. And then, yeah, so during this pandemic, everybody's connected. Oh, Deb Schoen says, any updates on the new ink colors? No, we're still working on it. Right. That's one of the, yeah, that's one of the things. Because <laughs> it took us a long time to get, um, to get these restocked, remember? Yeah. And even the bottles, the re-inkers. Yeah, so we're working with them, you know, to see what, you know, what they can do. And we under we definitely understand. Amanda says, what are stickles? Amanda, I call them stickle juice, but Tracy can show you what it looks like in a bottle right there. It's almost like glitter in a bottle. Let me see. Uh, here's one. These are diamond stickles. They can make any project kind of come to life. So they're so pretty to add like little bits of glitter to your project. Like if I wanted to outline this flower with stickles, it's wet, but it when it dries, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So I can take this, squeeze out little bits and outline my flower and it adds this little sparkle to it. Someone said, who wants a cat? What? <laughs> who said, so, wait a minute. I'm so yeah, for sure. Who wants a cat? Wait a minute, that was random. <laughs> Hold up, I just bought a a bird in the house and I can't find it. You can't find oh, what my, the bird or the cat. Oh my goodness. Or that, both. I thought that that means that they love you when they do that. 
<laughs> you love me from afar, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's what I thought that meant. This looks cute. I like this right here. <laughs> oh, Deb says it's the bird she can't find. Does the cat look bigger? If so, then the bird might be in the cat. <laughs> that is hilarious. Look, you want to know about Natasha, huh? Speaking of cats, is Natasha still on the Amazon box? Well, she's on the bed. She's she's off of it. <laughs> she's actually taking over my bed right now. So, yeah, that part. Tracy bought the softest. What's that thing called? It's a throw. throw. Thing. It's a throw. Mm -hmm. And the thing is so soft, it's like you can melt in it. And since then, the cat has just stretched out to the point where she looks twice as long as she normally is. Feet completely out, and her, her arms completely out of at the top of her. She just stretches out and sleeps like that. Yeah, she's she's um she's something else. Let's just say that. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sonia Creel. Sonia Creel says, "I'm so late. Is that the newest stamp?" Yes, it is, Sonia. Two of them. We got the digital. Hi, Jacqueline Robinson. We have the digital stamp set. Oops, let me put this over here. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, Jacqueline. She's right says, here. She's been away because her mom had a mini stroke. Oh. We'll be praying for your mom, Jacqueline. What? Shannon says some company in Mexico wanted to save costs and added an ingredient. Which, when it soaks into the skin, poisons you. Oh boy! Yeah, that's okay, from so hand sanitizer, Tracy. She says her it says don't buy hand sanitizer from Dollar Tree. Oh, you said where do I find the ink? I was telling Bill about that that we can't buy just every hand sanitizer that we see. Okay, Linda. Uh, where do I find the ink? Pads I'll get the in link online store. Bill's gonna look for it yeah, now. I'll get the link for you. Okay, so these are the two for those of you to tune just tuning in. Owl Love Digi Stamp and our photopolymer four by six stamp. Beauty in everything. I know there was a list going around that they had like do not buy these hand sanitizers. And that was at the beginning of the pandemic. So there's probably more added to the list now. I just put a, a link to the actual ink. So look how fun this is to color in, y'all. If you go to the first page, uh, also the website, minuscrafting.com, and scroll down, you'll actually see the ink also there, as well as the re-inker in the new stamp sets, photopolymer and digital. June Scollum says she loves that ink. She uses it all the time. Oh, thank you, June. We appreciate it. It had to be right. I was just like, mm -mm. <laughs> I had to make sure. He he looked at me like I was, because I, I was kind of skeptical when he told me that he can have an ink that, that does all, you know. I had to like, I'm like, I have to see it for myself. I'm sure a lot of people get it mixed up. I always hear the question, what ink goes with watercolor markers? What ink goes with alcohol? What go I'm thinking, man, that's so confusing because I'll forget. <coughs> so fun to color in. I need there's something in the middle. I don't know if that looks like a light green to y'all. <laughs> Amanda, I love your little logo image of yourself. I like what Cynthia said. 
She said, you mean I can get rid of the other inks? No, keep the other inks, you know, just because, you know, you don't want to waste them more. Oh, yeah, keep them. Um, she, but she said, I don't. She said sometimes she doesn't look and it, she messes up. So, um, yeah, this is this is uh, all in one. Okay, let me get some green leaves here. Because we're going to make some little embellishments using these. So hopefully y'all are looking forward to the weekend. Got some crafting in mind. Uh, we got that video coming out. It's already yeah, recorded and everything. On, yes. Uh, after this live, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to have that out today. Oh, good, man. Yes. So y'all wanted the um the tutorial for that digital, I mean not digital, <laughs> for the uh, accordion card. So that's what that's what you're gonna get. Diane Solomon says I love using the blending marker that came with my Daxi markers. It blends the colors beautifully. Oh, nice. Isabel Busto says I love owls. A lot of people love owls. I can't wait to color them in. You know, I, I think I may do a card next week. What? Y'all heard Because here's it? the thing, guys. I mean, when I do my digital stamps, one thing I love personally, everyone has different things they like to do, but I love to make scenes. I love to create scenes with digital images. You know, and whereas I can, I'll probably do one, I'll probably do two cards. I'm going to do one that uses only this owl love digital stamp and then we'll do another one where i mix several of the uh images from from some of the other stamp sets that we have yeah, i love i love scenery that's gonna be fun man you just have to decide which day you want to do it tuesday or thursday there you go Michelle says, have you used watercolor opines? I bought some from Five and Low. Um, I don't think no, have. I haven't. Mm -mm. I've never heard of those. That's interesting. Cindy says, how about some turtles? Ooh. Now, we do have the turtle on that other one, too. Um, but you're like a full, full all out on our Valentine stamp set. Um, let's see. Here you go. Thanks. See, we got this. Creel. We got the little turtle right here. That was our first turtle. Well, you talking about some turtles? I, I know they're they're saying really just like a all all everything. Yes, turtles really personify the turtle. What just like uh, what's the name of that thing we have? Uh, our dog. I can't think of the dog. Oh, one. Hartley. Yes, Hartley. Give the turtle some personality. Yes, I'm sure John can come up with some stuff. Oh yes. For sure. DFC says she loves elephants and monkeys. Tracy's mom loves elephants. Yes, she does. She has about a hundred of those things over there. With the with the um trunk up. Yep. They're all over the place. That's her thing. DFC says we need a Noah's Ark stamp set. You have to have a, a so many animals and stuff. That would definitely have to be one of those large, larger stamp sets. That's oh, a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, Barbara Murphy says, yes, we'd love to see that tutorial on the accordion, accordion card again. Oh, good. It's coming. It's going to be just, and it's all, it, you know, just. Straight to the point. Straight, yeah. Yeah. Without I figured y'all would want that. So y'all asked me. Okay, Linda Huffman, I'm going to find it, um, the re-inker for you and, and give, put the link for that. I might add some gems on the middle of that, too, once I cut them out. Okay, let me go back to the green and get some more green on here. So I'm glad that we came on today, too. You know, on a Friday, it's kind of relaxed. and. Um, okay, Linda, I just put that re-inker link in just, just now. 
Tina Emmer says, how about a Pomeranian stamp? What's that? One of those What's dogs? A, oh, that's that dog, right? Oh, my goodness. I was looking at dogs uh, yesterday. For we, have, we have a lot of... Um, we have a lot of stamp set requests. <laughs> we do. Um, <coughs> just in my phone. I have a list on my, in my phone that I add stuff to so I can remember. Um, but yeah, we just lining them up and um, putting them out. We, we do listen to what y'all request are. Tracy, we might not be able to get every single one of them, but we're just going down the line. Tracy, Sonia Creel says, I'm trying to sit Indian style. Oh, my goodness. Uncom uncomfortable. Good but, luck with that. Sonia, if I sat Indian style, I probably would never get up from that position again. My, my legs would be permanently configured into that. I probably could do it, but it's probably going to be some work. <laughs> Hi, Marianne uh, Johansson. She says, oh, yes, you all on love these live streams. Blessings from Norway. Norway is in the house. Is it cold there, Marianne? What is a Galentine's Day stamp? I heard Ariel use that one time. What's what's a? Do you have any Galentine's Day stamps? That's what Linda asked. So Linda, what is Galentine's again? I've heard of that. Is Valentine's for gals? And Penny says, "What is the next kit stamp theme?" Good question. That's a good, really good question. Marianne says, "Thank you. You're an inspiration. You got me started crafting too." Oh, nice. I have no idea what the next um, one is. I have several ideas in mind, but oh, okay. Linda Huffman says. You send them to your girlfriends who are single. Oh, okay. There you go. That's what I remember. I heard Ariel uh, talking about that. Galentine's. Okay, so this one I'm going to do in some yellow in here. Are they, do the cards that we have to, are they encouraging them to not be single or, or celebrating their singleness or? Was well, this a card? Right, so that they don't feel, you know. Cindy says, I sit in your style all the time. It works great until I get up. Hmm. Cindy, I've actually. I can't because my knee, I have knee problems, so. I I've gotten in the car before, Cindy. Let's say I'm driven for 45 minutes, and when I get out of the car, I'm like a, a position like an L for a second. Please. Ooh, I like this one. Crystal Tarver says we want sloths. Sloth. I like sloths. <laughs> you like spaghetti sloths. Let's. Uh, let's <laughs> Let's make sure we're on the same page. Sloths, you mean those things that kind of look like Bigfoots, right? That's why Bill likes them. <laughs> those things. Okay. They look so cute. Mm, till one until runs, you see one. Until one okay. runs up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's like a moose. I used to say, oh, mooses are cute because I was thinking of Bullwinkle. And then when I was in high school, we were in the Upper Peninsula because I'm from Michigan on a survival or something, right? And I heard something wiggling through the bushes. And I, me being curious, what, what what's that? I opened part of those bushes and this big head looked up now, up, mind you. And I was about six feet then. I looked up and there was this big, huge head looking down at me. It was mm. a, it was a, uh, a moose. I ran so viciously. I, I, I was like in that Morgan Freeman movie, Kiss the Girls. When the, when the girl just ran through the bushes getting all scratched up. <laughs> a moose is no joke, okay? That's funny. So I imagine a sloth would probably be like that. Mm. Barbara Murphy says, yes, see it, the sloth. Mm. I need something. 
Hi, Donna. Lucero. Someone that asked about the... Uh... Oh, which one is the stamp? This is... Both of these are stamp sets. This is a digital stamp set. So that's the Owl Digi stamp. And this one is the um, Beauty and Everything, which is also... We have this in the store in digital with more images. Joy Sloan says, if you want to regain your physical agility, get the book Dynamic Aging. Mm. Or you could have my daughter, Ariel. Ariel does yoga, all kind of stuff every day. She's been doing trying everything to get me out there. And it has it worked? No. Because I know once I get down, she's going to kill me. <laughs> she's dying to get out. Well, the doctor me. said you should stretch too, yeah, babe. He did. The doctor said. Hi, Libby's lovelies. Hey. Happy New Year. I've been seeing you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yes, Crystal B. Queen. Crystal B. Queen, Tracy says, thinking about the loss of a legend yesterday, Cicely Tyson. So sad. Yes. Oh, yes. Crystal, I felt that one. Sister, I was thinking to myself, as far back as I can really remember watching movies uh at least that you know that african americans were, were were really impacting cicely tyson was there you know she was there she was like part of my whole life Incredible. and she was still acting at 96 and, and she never written all of her roles seemed to be positive motivating encouraging she really brought those characters to life. Yes, she could take, usually to have a, to, to 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 bring a, a role to life. Oftentimes, they have to play a bad guy or someone who's kind of evil or crooked. But she could play the good person and, and dominate the whole scene, the whole movie. Man, Cindy says yes. She did an interview on Wednesday. Oh wow. You're right, Crystal. Crystal says, I'm old enough to remember seeing every film in the actual theater. 96 years of Queen. Me too, Crystal. I think I've seen everything. And you know, she never compromised a role. She never said, you know, and she, I think I she really just wrote need a book. The money, so I'm going to play this. Nope. She wrote a book, I, also, I think, too. I think it's called Just As I Am or something like that. She recently wrote a book. Released. It was released, I think, this month. You're right, Bertha. That is a big loss. You're right, Sonia Creel. Sonia Creel says, essentially, is a beautiful standard of what a woman is. So in case y'all are wondering with these flowers, what I'm doing, I've got all these colors going, but I'm pull pulling out colors that I see in these because that's what I'm going to add them to. So I I have actual, <laughs> there's a rhyme and reason behind these uh, flowers. DFC says she pretty much has to sit Indian style because her couch is too deep for her short legs. You make it sound like your couch like you're sitting on a fence or something. <laughs> <laughs> I have to climb a ladder to get on my couch. I tell you what, though, I sat on the couch one time, and the couch was it was so big that I couldn't even sit with my back. If I put my back against the back of it, you have a hard time. My legs were still straight out because they wouldn't bend at the knee. It's like a shack couch or something. A shack couch? Yes, I mean, shack is like about seven, two, seven, three. Oh, Shaquille. Three. Oh, okay. Yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. It, it would fit him. Oh, then the health says, I have to go get a sandwich. I haven't, <laughs> had, I haven't had breakfast. Linda, I had two of them before this live. Oh, wow. Because I knew I'd be hungry. I had oatmeal, y'all. I'm trying to be good. Oh, Bertha says Tyler Perry escorted 
Cicely uh, here to Detroit for Aretha Franklin's funeral. Wow. I'm just giving these a little bit of an outline. And that just makes such a big difference when you give it just a little outline, right? Oh, yes, Linda Huffman. Miss Jane Pittman? She did that one. I'm sorry. Looking at some okay. of my papers here just to see. Linda just asked. to see what we got here. Linda's asked a question. Let me go see what it is. I think I need another. I need another yellow flower. Looking at this, I need another yellow flower, y'all. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you outline your flowers, it just adds something else to it. And then in this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of pink right in the middle. Linda, I'm trying. Livy's lovely. So I'm trying to see the question. I'll see this. Oh, here it is. Livy Tracy is saying, how do you decide which you'll use, Tombow or Copic markers? Um, I'm thinking for blending, you want to use the, I don't use the Copic, uh, but I like, I like alcohol markers. Cat Copic or alcohol. Look, Bill, you pronounce Copic. 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 <laughs> One of them, okay? I bet y'all know um, what I'm talking about. So I don't, right now I'm really addicted to using Adaxi. the Adaxi alcohol markers right now. I'm really loving these. Y'all have hardly seen me use my Tumbos. If you, um, but Lively, 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 Lively. I'm sorry, <laughs> Livy. The L jumped over into my into my eyes <laughs> on the, on your second the name, your last name. If I'm doing it, what makes me decide between using the Tombow or the other or the alcohol markers, which happen to be a Daxi in our case, is if I have to do something extremely detailed, I end up with the Tombows because the point of it is so accentuated. And it allows me to really detail, really get into the the barest crevice. This has a pretty good point too. It has a good point, but it's not as detailed. As, just call as the them, just call them C markers. <laughs> that's what that's what makes me decide. Oh, uh, y'all are funny. Mario says wire hangers. <laughs> Y'all don't even know what we talk. Y'all, y'all, I'm sure y'all know. What we're oh, about. Libby, so I'm going to put this. I, I'm going to put the link for this in here. You have to see this. It's incredible uh, for the uh, Adaxis. I'm going to give you the exact link so you don't have to search around for this. Yeah, I really like these. These are like my, these have become my markers. And I'm going to give you, the, this is the best deal I've seen because the one I'm going to give you, it has 168 markers for $58. And the, the quality is, is almost comparable to Copic, Copic, whichever. Uh, um, almost. Let's put it like well, this. Well, Bill is saying that. Have you used a Copic before? Ben? Yes, I have. Here, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Let me, let me really deep zero in on what I'm really saying. For $58, well, 168 markers, whereas to pay that same $58, I'll probably get about, what, seven of, of the Copics? I'll take the 168. One know? day I would like to have a set of Copics. Like all of, I inherited my daughter's when she was in college. Her art teacher told them that they had to use Copics. So um, Grey Poupon. They, those were the top. Of the <laughs> but for now, I'm happy with what I have. Right? You make it work. But if I was to have a look, if I was to win that uh, money, oh, get money the from the lottery, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Copix, here we come. <sighs> you guys ever experienced a lottery when it got kind of big and you played it? 
and you just knew in your deepest fiber in your being that that you you were gonna win. There was no no way anyone could convince you that you were not gonna win. It happened to me one time, and, and the pain was so bad when I didn't win. I said, "I'll never, I'll never desire to win. I'll play it. I'll get one ticket." Because my philosophy is you have to be in it to win it. But I don't expect to win it, but I'm in it. Well, there you go. But if I do win, I have a whole list of people I'll be helping. Well, the teacher Tracy's asking, what did you name the ink pad? We never did yet. We have a bunch of names that are written down downstairs. Well, the red and the... Yeah, we got a ton of them. And the blue. And the blue, Yeah. We haven't picked a name yet because it's still in the making. I'm actually retrying. Um, I had them actually send me another red. Yeah, because some people because that red did, and to me the red didn't look really. Once once y'all we showed you and and we saw it, I was like, let me try another red. I might still go with the original red, but let me just try another red just to see. Some people were saying it's borderline orange. Like right, so it had orange. an orangey. And once I started looking, I was like, you know what? You know what? Let me go and orangey. get another one. So, yeah, I called him up and um, had him send me another another shade of red. I did not know this. Joyce Boston is saying, informing us, Tracy, that did y'all know that Copic or Copic markers are the same markers that were used by Walt Disney? Oh, really? Wow. I guess if they're good enough for Walt. That's an interesting fact. Yeah, it is. Pam Perdo says, I can see these flowers used to use to put in the corner of photos of people and turn them into fun birthday cards. Oh, yes. Look how adorable these are. Okay, Linda Huffman saying, do you store your markers point down or horizontal? Um, Some of them right now. <laughs> I actually got something, uh, a new uh, several new things stand for my markers. Yeah, and they're horizontal. The new mark, the new stands are horizontal. Yeah, it's horizontal. But now, in the case that comes with the Daxi, they are vertical. Right. Um, most people say to go ahead and store them on their sides. But what do y'all do? I like uh, someone said something about sunflowers. I didn't. I didn't. The comment went away. All right. I was typing something in here right quick. Someone said horizontal. But they put theirs horizontal. Oh. Daisies are your favorite flower. I can never get enough of flowers. They make me happy. <laughs> So these I'm going to mix and match them and, and put them on here. All right, see how cute these are? Let's give it a little background. It says Daisy are her, are her favorite because that was her mom's name. Uh, all right, Libby. Libby has to go. Science is calling. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for uh, Thanks joining for coming. us. It's been a pleasure to see you as usual. I'm glad to see you in the new year. Hi, Barbara Link. Hi, hey, Dee Barbara. Kepler. Dee. I haven't seen you in a second, D. Linda says, Huffman says, look, just send me the flowers you're cutting out. <laughs> Beanie Freak says, uh, I store my nibs side down so they don't dry out. Joyce Boston says, uh, yes, they said if you ordered the same color markers years from now, it will be exactly the same colors you have now. What, the Copics? Copics?
he kept her says, I've been super busy and don't find the site until after. And she watches late. Oh, okay. Well, we're glad you can join us live today. Hi, Kathy Duvall. She says, how do you get notifications to see? Um, right next to subscribe, the subscribe button, there's a, a bell. And you, you can hit that bell, but after you hit the bell, there's something else that comes up that says, do you want to be notified sometimes, all the time, or... Never or something. Yeah, something like that. Just click all the time. Yeah, you just got to... Yeah, and hopefully they'll get you a notification because sometimes some people don't still don't get their notifications. September, Hilton. I don't know what's going on. Bertha says her mom's favorite flower was roses and her name was Rosa. Oh. Okay, Sweet. Beanie Freak. Let me see. She says she can't see the chat on the screen. Anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm watching on my TV. If you uh, click on the screen on your TV, click on the little, uh, click on the. Uh, well, she's using a remote. Uh, I'm about to look up on the thing. Let's see. Okay, right. If you click touch, use the remote. And, and if you don't see the chat thing right there, you'll see the three dots that say more. Once you see the more, you should see the chat show up. So you're saying scroll using your remote? Yes, use your remote control. You have to turn on the chat, basically. This says, how's your mom doing? How's mama doing? She's all good. I called she's her. She's still crocheting. I called her yesterday. Uh, yep, she's crocheting. Uh, when do we? We brought a flowers one day this week so we dropped off some flowers at her house because she loves flowers so we got her a bouquet of flowers mm -hmm. and then oh yesterday so i called my mom yesterday right <laughs> and you remember we got out on the live and we were talking about would you smack your mama <laughs> for 17 million dollars and guess what my mother said without hesitation she said i sure would <laughs> she said, and then I'd, I'd smack the you know what out of you <laughs> for smacking me. I'm like, she said, no, she said, after she got the 17 million, then she would smack me back. I said, Mom, <laughs> I thought it was funny. But she said it without hesitation. She was like, 17 million? She was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that was yesterday's live discussion. <laughs> Hi, Christine Bennett. Hey, Christine. Leticia, our prayers out to your uncle. Oh, is he ill? Well, she found that her uncle has cancer on the oh. side of his neck. So many, so everyone's going, so many people going through stuff. We're keeping your uncle in our prayers. Margie Ryan says, "I don't say hi, I don't say hi to everyone because I can't type fast enough. If you have a long name, any longer than Joe, J O, <laughs> ah, can't do it." <laughs> Trying to keep it kind of neat over here, y'all. Hi, Little Wolf. I kind of like that name, Little Wolf. Mind of a story, right? Yes. It sounds tough. Don't be fooled because I'm little. No, it doesn't. It sounds... Little Wolf, special. okay? Once, there was a little wolf who liked to find the beauty in everything. Little Wolf would pick flowers and daisies, but his favorite flower was a sunflower. <laughs> and why was it the sunflower? Because it reminded him of sunshine. Oh, sunshine is good. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Letitia said... <laughs> 
His wife filed for divorce two days before he found out he had cancer. So he's going through it. But you know what, though? No matter how we're bad... We're going to keep him in our prayers. Yeah, we keep him in our prayers. But no matter how bad things seem, it's amazing how there's a, a, a silver lining somewhere. There's always sunshine somewhere. Coming. Yep, just got to find it. You don't seem like it. But it's there. It's going through it. So many people going through some stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Hi, Carmina. Hey, Carmina. How are you? Sonia Creel just got out of the Indian sitting position. Her legs. Circulation? Are, are, are no. Dysfunctional. Now. <laughs> She's crawling across the, the, the room. Yeah, if I position my leg in a certain way, my knee acts up. Son, you better watch out. You're going to be walking around like Eddie Murphy on Coming to America. Remember he came out of the police station? He was on that board, that board thing. Uh, they found him in the park. Remember that, Trace? He was in the park acting that. like he was he was begging for money. He was sitting on this board acting like his leg, he didn't have legs. That wasn't Coming to America. Yes, it was. Oh, okay. I, no, you're right. It wasn't. You're right. Which was the one where he... You're right. Which was the one he was... Uh, he was with Dan and Croy when they went to the stock market. I forget what it's called. I forget. What's that one? You're right. It wasn't coming to America. Switching places or something like that? Yeah, well, trading, trading places. places. Trading that places, was it. Yeah. Switching places. <laughs> so watch out before you trade places, Tanya. Look how pretty those look. I'm so excited about this. Hi, Brian. You see that? So excited about these, y'all. It's coming together. Brian says, Tracy, you'll be proud to hear that. It's coming together. I created a mini album base this morning from a cereal box. I'm going to start over and document it for my Etsy class that I'm creating. Brian is always doing something. Good for you, Brian. Brian. Oh, Carmina. Sorry to hear that. She, Carmina says, hubby came down with COVID. And son oh, and boy. Me. Well, we're praying for oh, you, Oh, all everyone. Oh, boy. I love that movie, Trading Places. Wishing your family well, Carmina. Y'all see what I'm doing with these? Y'all see what I'm doing with these? I'm six. Can y'all tell me? Tell I'm excited about this. Let's see there, there. Oh, I might do there. Let's see. Find the beauty. So Bill's going to do his. Bill's going to do his card making next week. I am probably Thursday. Son, Crystal B. Queen says, my son is in Coming to America, too. Oh, I'll wow. let you know when it's released. Yeah, let me know so I can tell everybody I know. Oh, that's my that's my nephew. People love to claim somebody famous. You know how it works. <laughs> Success has many parents, but failure is an orphan. And that's a quote right there. <laughs> Look, if you're not with me when you when I'm failing, then, <laughs> then don't don't be with me when I'm when I'm winning. Okay, be with me. <laughs> I'm just getting everything ready for my cards, y'all. Kathy Duvall says, I watched a few of your videos and really enjoyed watching you make cards. Thank you. To tell you the truth, this is so relaxing right now. I don't know what it is about cutting, cutting out uh, flowers and leaves and, and coloring, but it's just, I feel very relaxed right now on a Friday afternoon. Oh, Bertha, I didn't see it. Bertha's asking, did I see the card? It's like mine. I didn't. Hmm? I didn't see. Oh, yes, yeah, she sure did. She posted a card that was uh, inspired by you, babe. Mm. 
He's hardly in the group. That's amazing. I have to Real show stuff. him. Let's see what y'all are saying. Crystal B. Queen said, COVID really hit his career in theater. His education and prayer made, made the difference. Awesome. Yeah, everybody's just so many people have been really hit hard by this. It's just, you hope there's an end to it soon, right? We just pray. The door sure does have you thinking, rethinking life and the purpose of life. Yeah, it does. It sure does. <laughs> Sonia Krill, you're funny. She said, I actually know somebody that knows somebody. <laughs> ah, Crystal's son. <laughs> Exactly. Hi, Dana Foster. Pam Perdo says, Tracy, do you still do the children's channel reading books? No. I mean, the channel is there, but we're just not active on it. But it's still... It's still there, and I get parents functions. send me pictures of their kids <coughs> watching the channel. <laughs> they still send me, like, such cool notes. Constantly. I mean, it's just so, oh my goodness. It's one thing you just lay down the foundation and, and it just goes on. You you want to have something that can can live on through the generations, right? Oh, yeah. That's one of those things that we did that we're so proud of. <clears throat> but no, we don't upload any more videos to that channel. Yeah, all the focus is on this one. But there are 300 and something videos on there. It's almost 400. Bye, Joy Sloan. Bye, Joy. You said Joy or Joyce? Joy. Joy. Hi, you girl, Trey. Hey, y'all girl. I got to call her y'all girl. I'm just stuck with that. Y'all see what I just did? I... I'm putting the stamp on backwards like this. Like, you know, as if that's going to work. Okay, don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. Okay, I'm going to just stamp out a couple of these. Stamping upside down. Let's see. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me get my mounting tape. This is so fun to do, y'all, because even if you said, OK, I don't want to make a whole card, but I want to make something. So you start with the smaller stuff. So this is the cutaway that was in that paper pack, right? That patio party paper pack. And you just take your cutaways and decorate them. You could always fancy them up a little bit. Or you can take little rectangles of paper. Or triangles, rather. Little triangles, rectangles, whatever shapes. And just make something out of it. So now this is going to come a little bit off the page. So I'm going to just slip that right under there. Right? And now I'm going to put Find the Beauty. Now you have a little embellishment that you just made. 
let's go ahead and put this. Uh, let's. I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess up my nails, y'all. This is the second week. Nails are still good. Well, I'm really liking my um gel nails. <laughs> Loving my gel nails. See, they're pretty sturdy, these gel nails, because by now my nails would have been just completely, completely shot. Kathy Duvall is asking, when you purchase the stamp set, does it come with the attachment to put the sticker stamp on? No, you need to buy the, the block. You're talking about the stamping oh, the block? Stamp block. No. Yeah. So, yeah, you need to... Purchase yourself a stamp block. I like these stamp blocks here. This is the uh, reflection, no, reco recollection stamping block. Uh, I think I got these from Michaels, maybe. I don't remember. Um, but there's also another brand called Inka Dinka Doos. I absolutely love those too. But I like the shape of this because I can use this shape to create other things too. And it's easy to hold on to. There you go. So look at that. Right, so now we're going to start adding these on. By the way, Kathy, I saw your message. You're, you're, you're in the group at this point. Several people, when you get a chance, especially if you can show the stamp sets, and we have quite a few people that are asking. Okay, I sure will. See, so this blue here. I'm going to put a blue here. Let's see. Let me put this in the center here. It's okay for it to be blue and the green, right? Hi, Anseen Williams. And look how cute that looks with just giving it a little bit of dimension, right? One of my favorite things, mounting tape. I can put that there, right along there maybe, coming off the side. Or I can put it right here, or I can put it, yeah, let's put it right there. Do y'all talk to yourselves during crafting? Y'all hear me, right? <laughs> oh my God. Talking to myself. It's terrible. While crafting. It's on your creel. Hi, mm -hmm. Ann Herschler. People saying that's humpers, okay? <laughs> Mounting tape. Don't let me go to Dollar Tree walking in the store talking about. Okay, so here's the owl. <laughs> I will love you. This is a digi stamp. So you would actually, once you, once you purchase it, um, and there's a 10% off on both of the stamp sets till Sunday. So once you purchase it, the digi stamp file is sent to your email. So just make sure that you have the email, the right, the correct email. Cause we've had some people where it was a, there was maybe a spelling error in the email and they never got it. So just make sure that you're checking to make sure you're, email is correct and so this you get right away this one we just pop in the mail to you and so this one is um $13.99 but with the discount well 10 it's $13.99 discount. but the discount is comes to $12.60 I think and then the digital is $9.99 and then it when it comes to um with the discount I don't know Bill <laughs> Do the math, Bill. I just put the link to the first page. You'll see it immediately. Time to start scrolling down. Okay, let's go ahead and put these together. This is fun. And then you can add whatever other little bits and pieces you have. I'm going to put this right down here. I'm going to turn it this way. Put it right off to the side here. 
put my find the beauty there. All right. There you go. I'm going to pop that up. Michelle Miller says, I love owls. Oh, awesome. Actually, it was more exciting than when I said it. She really put the thing on. <laughs> we have a lot of owl lovers. And C. Williams says she's liking the flowers. Thanks. It's just like your way of getting a little crafty, really. Seriously, look, little crafty, right? And then you could always go and then you add those to your cards. LoadedCoco.com. Can someone tell me the name of the children's book reading page? What What are we talking about? Little Storybook? Oh, yeah. Our channel, it's a YouTube channel. It's called Little Storybug. I, I'll put that in there. Hold up. Is that not adorable? And then put a pink, a little pink gem somewhere around there, right? To tie in the colors. How adorable is that? Oops. Little pink gem. Let's see. Let me do it my gem box here. Oh, let me get out my gem box. Got a thousand gems in here. Little pearl gems. Okay, and drop some gems in there. Sorry if I'm not seeing your comments right now. Okay, just put the link to Little Storybook. Look at that. That one doesn't want to turn over, does it? <laughs> she says, yeah, I can play it for Lulu. She already knows your voice. Trust me, when you play this, huh? when you play Little Storybook, oh, so sweet. Tracy is like the Pied Piper when it comes to kids. Mm. I, suggest, I don't know about all of I that. I suggest you put on a playlist. Because otherwise, she's going to keep wanting to hear it again and again and again and again. I think one of my favorite songs on that channel, though, is Five Little Penguins. Kids love Five. Did I do that? Yeah, I think I did do that one. Yeah, that's on there. Yeah. Who said better late than never? You tuned in late. Who's late? Hi, Joe Harris. I think that would be cute. Is that Joe, your Joe? Look at that. What's Joe's last name from the library? Loman. Oh, my fault, Joe Harris. He thought it was one of my co-workers, that you were one of my co-workers. <laughs> Former co-workers, I should say. Barbara Link says, when is the next Crafting Midnight? That's a doggone good question. I thought we just had one. It felt like it, didn't it? It took me a minute to recover from that last <laughs> minus. Me and Bill were like... I was messed up for a couple of days. He was... I don't know what it was, but that was... Because one, I and, couldn't sleep. I wanted to take a nap, but I couldn't take a nap. And the thing was up. that we stayed up... Did I drink about 17 vats of coffee? I don't know what it was about that other one. I was messed up, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you, Ancine. I love your name, Ancine Williams. Hi, Bobby Thompson. Hey, Bobby. All of our crafty friends are here today. Mar Barbara Murphy says it was a funny live stream. Which one? The last one? Yesterday's or the you other? We have so many of them. <laughs> or the other? Once we break out, that's it. You can't that one was fun, though. But we're we're gonna have um. We're gonna have the next one. I think maybe. The first uh. Maybe first or second week of February. February, yeah. We're trying not to keep them, do them like back to back to give y'all time. Y'all know y'all need time to recover. 
Y'all are not used to hanging out to the wee hours of the morning. Robert Rupert said, yes, yesterday's live stream. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, about slapping your mama. That was funny, huh, I think. That was funny. We were still... anyone in here who said they wouldn't slap their mama? Ariel is really lying. Tuned. Ariel really Just tuned kidding, in. Okay. She tuned in to that live. Out of all of our lives, she really tuned into that one. She was in the background laughing. Would you would you the question came up, would you slap your mama for $17 million? <laughs> and that's about how long of, of the thought. <sighs> I tell you, you just can't make this stuff up on YouTube. And you got to be the first one to do it. So if you got siblings, you got to take into consideration. They're having to consider the same thing. Mm -hmm. Whoever mm -hmm. slapped first is the winner. Okay? <laughs> How about that? Y'all are funny. I'm not trying to put no pressure on y'all. And seen okay? said two times. <laughs> 17 million <laughs> each, right? <laughs> no, only one of them get to 17. 17 and 17. You got 10, 12 kids. They may all get killed. What is oh, snapper? Barbara Murphy. She said, you guys are great. Thank you, Barbara. It's a Friday and we want to just, you know, show love, right? Joe, come on. No, Joe here's some no, no slapping. Joe, Joe, you know, good and well. If someone came up to your house right now and, and had the 17 million, so here it is. I got my attorney. I'm going to sign all the documentation right in front of you. Bill, can she ask? We all asked you the have question. to do. We asked you the question. You can't let her know ahead of time. You have to just walk up to her and just haul off. But and, her answer is no. She we, says that she would not do and, it. And when you do it, it has to sound like this. Wow. <laughs> Y'all stop. <laughs> Look, this will be queen. Exactly. <laughs> she said I would be in the ER, but rich. <laughs> right when you when you woke up in the ER, I told my mother. I said, "Mom, we we'd be recovering on a beautiful island." Okay. Hey, Joe Harris. Yesterday, I said <laughs> I, we were saying that we, if, I, if I slap my mama or Tracy slap her mother, it would sound like this. Cause she'd be hitting you right back. Okay. <laughs> my mom. My mother laughed yesterday when I told her that she was like, she's like, oh yes. She said, when I get the 17 million, she said, I'll be smacking you right back. <laughs> you know, she must have been like, why are you asking me a question like that? <laughs> okay. Kathy, I hope y'all are getting said, inspired by this because it's just like as simple as it is, when you start putting it against your papers and then you start making the cards for these, the impact is going to be so pretty. <laughs> Peggy Powell says, I would. Powell. <laughs> and then I would give her some of the money when after you... I got out of the ICU. Right. <laughs> right. After you woke up. <laughs> Mom, did we get the money? Y'all are too what, funny. I slapped my mother. You, you would hear two sounds. It'd be me slapping her, then me hitting the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all are too funny. Priscilla Miller, I think someone did win the mega. They won both of them. They did? Mm hmm but, I, you, know but you know what? There's some people who win a lesser amount, but they won't check it. So they throw, oh, I didn't win. I'm going to throw away the ticket. And that's like a million dollars. So they said they had two million dollar winners, I think, in Georgia. Who still didn't come forward. Who didn't come forward because Bill hasn't checked our Let ticket yet. Let me go yet. check my tickets. I might have won a million dollars. <laughs> You hear people say, if I won five hundred million, I wouldn't change. Yes, you would. I wouldn't. Tracy, you're gonna change. Now, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, gonna change. Gonna be, like as a I'm person. not saying it's gonna be a bad change. Oh. But they say money doesn't change you. It only makes you more what you already are. There you go. Priscilla Miller, it, it was it was about a billion, but after taxes, I think it came to five hundred and thirty nine. Mm. That's close enough for me. That's cute. 
Kenneth is on here. Hey, Kenneth. Kenneth, did you win the lottery? Remember the little guys. <laughs> Kenneth is like, wait a minute. He's like, well, y'all talking about the lottery. Ask Kenneth that question, Bill. You know, it's amazing. About slapping mama. Ask Kenneth. Kenny. I don't know if he was on. Was he on in that day we asked that Kenneth, question? were you on yesterday? Let me let him answer first. <laughs> Kenneth, were we you on to, yesterday? We want to see what Kenneth's answer is. That way we get a fresh perspective on this. I don't think he was on yesterday. Kathy, I'm from Michigan, and Tracy is from New York by way of London. <laughs> Kenneth was not able to make it yesterday. Okay, guys, we, we have a fresh Kenneth. newbie here. Just, <laughs> I want to hear, we get a chance to hear an honest answer. <laughs> now, Kenneth, I'm going to need you to be absolutely honest. Don't be trying to put morality in it, nothing like that. Just give us your... Morality. Just tell me point blank. Would you slap <laughs> your mama for $17 million? You can't give her no warning, and it has to sound like this. <laughs> wow, Kenneth is gonna be like you know. Don't go on. Ken would slap his mama. We signed a drum roll. Oh my god! Kenneth says, "Sorry, mama, I love you, but." <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all are too funny. I'll buy mama the best car she want, her dream car and all exactly. that, right? It'd be worth the slap. Y'all are too funny. Let's see, I think I could do some black gems on Hi, this. Hi, Karen Hankerson. Barbara Murphy's from Brooklyn, Tracy. Ah. Oh. Hey, Barbara. Didn't you work in Brooklyn? Barbara, before? I went to graduate school in... Um, in Brooklyn. I went to Pratt Institute and I lived on Crook Avenue in Brooklyn, near Flatbush Avenue, which everything is near Flatbush Avenue, but yeah. But I lived in the Bronx for years. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be happy when she learned why to look. While they hauling you off in the ambulance, huh? Exactly. <laughs> y'all are too funny. Okay, let me color these in real quick because I want to show y'all what I do yes, with these. Yes, Crystal. Kenneth is the camera guru. He's the camera guru. Ariones has a question for him too. She, she was telling me the other night. I said, look, we got an expert. Got to ask Kenneth. Hi, Linda's mixed up mess. Linda says, that's stinking cute. Isn't this the cutest? Look at that, y'all. Put it on the card in a minute. Let's see. Uh, ha, ha, ha. See what we got here. So now the colors will get to tie together here. See what happens. This one, I'm gonna do maybe. Let's see. I guess I could do maybe some green. Let's put some green in there. Yo, like what on earth is she adding Ooh, in here now? Mine too. Get us say, hey, my favorite spice is slap your mama. Ours too. I know we got some. Slap your mama on any day. I almost put it on some cereal the other day on some cornflakes. That is some good spice. Joe Harris says, what coloring pen is that? That is, those are the Adaxi pens, alcohol markers. These yep. are great. Adaxi art markers. They're not quite on the same level with Copic, Copics, but uh, they're good enough for me, i tell you this. They blend extremely well. And we're not affiliated with that company either. So, you know, 
the creators of the Adaxi. I'm just glad they put a name on it because when I first got them, I was like, well, let me find it. Let me try out an alcohol marker. And these just happen to be the ones there. But now it's like an Amazon. What do you call it? Amazon um, choice when, when it's a good one. Amazon. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's called. Amazon's choice. Is it? Uh, for truth and reason, you say, where's the link? Which link? The link to what? Tell me, tell me what now. If I, I can get the link and put it in. A lot of people like to slap your mama spice, Tracy. <laughs> really? And Herschel says there's also a spice called Punch Your Daddy. Really? How's that one, Ann? Pow. <laughs> oh, okay, for the new stamp release. Sure. Oh, she's truth and reason. I thought you've been on here for some reason. I don't I'll know. I'll do this. I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put both of them in. Yep, we got the new one. Okay, the first link is going to be Spring Dim Green. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's see what this one looks like. Eh. To me, it's not dark enough. I need just a little bit darker. Brenda Bodwin is here. She said, I just turned on the computer and here you are. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. We're here. And glad to be here, okay. Bring my food to me. Okay. And now that one is Bill, for the digital me? stamp set. So you have both links. I put one for the digital. Tracy's your thing. Oh, are we um looks like we're buffering just a little bit, huh? If I have to refresh the screen. Let me refresh. Okay, refresh your screen and you'll come right up. I, I refreshed my screen and it came right up. So I'm just doing a little bit of an outline around these. Nothing, no fancy coloring, but when I used to color in coloring books as a kid. By Linda Huffman, she has to go fix lunch for her homeschool or grandkid. Oh. So when I used to color as a kid, I always uh, would outline all of my, my work. Just, I don't know, for some reason. And that was using the crayons. The, uh, what is it, 64 box crayons, 64 colors in a box. Oh, Where speaking of, you know what, speaking of crayons, did y'all see the um skin color crayons, Crayola crayons at Dollar Tree? Those crayons are at Dollar Tree. And I didn't pick them up. Um, I think I have some some somewhere in the craft room. There's no telling. Because I had a feeling that I had picked some up. But I don't know if y'all have seen them yet, though. But they have crayons in all skin color, uh, shades. Several so people saying, what new stamp? Tracy. Uh, we just so released... Yeah. Yep, hold on one moment. I just I'm in the middle of fussy cutting, y'all. I'm gonna show you in a moment. So I'm not going too close to the edge there. I'm leaving a little bit of a white outline on this. Okay. Um the stamp set is our four by six stamp set beauty and everything and if you if this looks familiar it's one of the stamp sets that y'all asked us to turn the digital into a photopolymer stamp set so there it is so we have a series of stamps that were digital and behind the scenes we got so many emails saying please make this particular digital stamp and set th this was one of them into a photopolymer so we did this one we did the mermaid we did several of them like this so that's why 
Right, so we have this, the beauty and everything. Now, everything that's on this stamp set, there's more on the digital actually. So we couldn't get every image in here because of sizing, but we did take the most popular images. And then here's the other one. This is actually available in digital, the Owl Love Digi stamp set. Yeah. Now for those of you that work with digital, you, you know that you can do a lot of things. You can resize those images, overlay them, create scenes. Yep. And some people use them in their cricket. Use other cell. Yeah, you can do all kind of things with them. I love creating scenes. Jessica is on here. I I need to come up with a free for a freebie image. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be something in the next couple of days. I'll come up with something. Yes, Eva, these are flat back pearls. And I will put the link. A lot of you have asked me about them, but there's like there's thousands of them in here. I think it's like 10,000 pearls or something like that. You'll never run out. This is like a must have. I got them off Amazon and I'll show you exactly where I got. Because you want to get this. This size is good. This is the four millimeter. How you doing, Jessima? Ah, Jessica. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what I'm going to do with these now. I got to color a few more of these in, though. We're going to be on here for a while. My phone is plugged in, so if y'all can stay with us, I fine. Think Linda Huffman has the skin colored crayons. Oh, does she? Yes, she loves, she loves them. Kenneth, are you working or this is a break or you're just off today? Slumming it. Kathy Vall says, I wouldn't know how to use the digital since I'm new at this crafting stuff. Kathy, I'm, I'm getting ready to get a link and put it in here. We created a series of videos. Yeah. Demonstrating how to manipulate your digital images. So you can't just download them and just start working with them. You've got to use some sort of editor, whether it's Microsoft Word or, or, it, or something free like Google Docs. Uh, yeah, the well, video will see. show you. You'll see. I'll show it to you. But well, we'll have to um, put the link. easy. We'll put the link in the... Um, I'm going to get the link right now. I'll put it in description too in case you want to check it out. It'll It's clear instructions on how to do how to manipulate those. Exactly. Okay, so let me do some of these in the pink. And, and pink and a, yellow for some reason. Another thing, Kathy, since we have those free, we have free, so several free digital images where you, you so you can download those and play around with them. Play around with those and kind of get, get, get your... You know, yeah, see how you like them first. Yeah. yeah, digital might not be for everybody. Get your feet wet, like yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I I colored my leaf in the thing, the same color as the flower, because I was having fun. But at least it's green, right? Like the other one. Okay, so right along here, let's fill this in with a little bit of green. Okay, Kathy, I just put the uh, I just put the link right there, and you'll see. It's, I think it's about four or five videos, one for each editor. Diane Solomon is asking, what flavor slapped your mama? I don't even know. It has uh, several things in there. It has I, spicy taste to it. But but you it, you can control the spice. It's, you know, you have to really put it on there if you really want it to get spiced up. Or if you just want to kind of put just a touch. But it's really good. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Deborah, sure, you're right. She's saying you can use Google Draw or even Libra. I use Libra. Yes. And they are free. And it's so easy, isn't it, Deborah? That's where y'all lost me. 
I use um I actually use pages to to resize my images. So just use what what's best what works best for you. Yeah, here's the thing. They have what's called Open Office, but there's also the same company created something called LibreOffice. L I B R E Office O F F I C E. It's free and it's incredible. Eva says, Tracy, do you like those markers better than the combos? Um, they both do they do two different things, but right now, yes, this is like my go-to marker right now. Well, that's because she has so many. There's so has... many different colors. Oh my goodness. But I have quite a bit of uh tumbos too. But you have a lot at least of different colors. Of these. But for some reason, the smoothness of which this goes on, I I really like it. Barbara Bubba says she used pages. So she has she has an iPad and has pages. Yes. Pages That's what is I pretty use. good. It's really good, too. That's what I use. Barbara Link says, oh, my God, I've got to have the new stamp set. I just love those flowers. Uh, isn't this the cutest, though? So, Barbara, how are the kitties? How are my nephews, Barbara? They're probably <laughs> doing at homeschooling. y'all over here on, Jessica a, says, on a Friday afternoon. My go-to marker is what ear is that's what it's, that's what it's called IR Carmina uh I think it was one of the Pace Sisters singers who was poisoned. She was the Pace huh? Sisters, she was a famous singer. You one of the Pace singers died and Supposedly, they she went to a restaurant and someone put rat poison in her food. How do we get on that? Because it was mentioned in the in the library. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah. boy, is that true it's or been, is that like, just kind of gossip? going in and out of the conversation? Oh boy, yeah. My goodness. Mm -mm. Uh yeah, Deborah Couture, go ahead. Deborah Couture is going to put a link. To Libra Office. It does include, include the whole suite. And here's the thing. Oh, Deb, I love seeing what Deb does. With once her, you uh, once you put too. once you download Libra Office, you can use my instructions for Open Office. It, it it'll be almost the exact same. The same instructions will apply to Libra Office. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I have both Open Office and Libre Office, but I use Libre Office more than Open Office. I don't even use Open Office actually, I'm but doing, they both do the same thing. I'm doing flowers for this one now, y'all, just in case y'all are wondering. Look at all those pretty colors, y'all. Just like, just looks like a garden in here. Okay. <laughs> Kelly. Tracy Kelly Chong says, Aloha. Finally hey, Kelly. catching you live. I'm supposed to be homeschooling the kids. Ooh. Shh, Kelly. You better put them kids in the room. And Kelly. Say, hey. I'm fixing to watch. They can color. Family. You learn about flowers today. <laughs> Sit down and learn about and these color flowers. And coloring. It's all in the lesson plan. Jessica, Jessica says, I've been craving hot chocolate this winter. I have a cup of hot chocolate every night. Mm. We went to Costco and I bought a box. I had so much hot chocolate, I can't even make a dent in it. Costco will make you buy big stuff and spend a whole lot of money. I know it over the long period, but boy. Now this is interesting. I have Barbara to stay away from... Oh, yeah. Costco. <laughs> good stuff. Barbara Link says, I have a good idea for stamps. A girls and boys stamp set with no faces. Girls and boys with no faces. So you can make your put it in your own faces. Hmm. Okay.
There you go. Girls and boys with no faces. I've seen some stamp I've sets with no before. faces in there. Okay, time to cut this one out. So you see how I'm kind of matching up my little colors here? And having a good time doing it too. Marcia, you looking for it? Hold up. I can find it. Hold up. Oh, y'all looking for something. I'm looking at your comments. I'm trying to look at your comments, but I got to keep cutting. <laughs> got to keep cutting. After this live, I'm going to make some mac and cheese. Um, the Quilting Marine is going to come in. <laughs> My brother-in-law, he's coming over to pick it up. Okay. I just put that link in there for that LibreOffice direct download. Once you get on the page, just follow the prompts. So I'm making him a pan of mac and cheese. He said he misses our mac and cheese because we don't get to see them, you know. Really? So I'm going to make him a pan. He could take it and him and my sister can enjoy some mac and cheese. He loves mac and cheese. I like it too. He loves my mac and cheese. Yes. But I like mine with uh, sweet potatoes that you do in the oven like. Because I like to put the stuff on top of it. It's like a meal. Tracy, we gonna have something? No, I'm just making something for the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. What did I just say? I'm making some for the You gonna see Mark chasing me down the street? Okay. <laughs> Bill just vowed to me that he's going to be eating healthier, so. I'm just keeping you on track. Come in and say, Tracy, mail me some. <laughs> I'm just keeping him on track, y'all. Yeah, I think German said, I just had a piece of cake. What kind of cake, Kathleen? Mm. Let me guess. Pound cake. Then the husband said, I just bought the ink pad re-inker and digital stamps of the flowers. Oh, uh, I can't wait to see what you create. Yeah, me too, Linda Huffman. I love seeing how y'all manipulate those and just create something wonderful. Y'all are missing all kind of comments. Like I keep turning around doing stuff. And you're kind of you ain't doing nothing right now. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Exactly, Susan. See, Susan Pover understands. She says, and then your hubby, that's me, will cry and be hungry. Oh, but he'll be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no broke down hubby. <laughs> He's walking sideways and stuff. He already complained about pains and stuff. Now he's talking about, yeah, because I could sure do some macaroni and cheese with such and such on it. Cardi girl, congratulations. She said, I just got my first COVID vaccination. Let us know how it works out. After the second. Did you have, oh yeah, because I know some people having to wait in line and stuff, the lines. And once you tell me how it works, then I'll get mine, Cardi. We tested it out on you. If you live, I don't think you're then in the we know. I don't think you're in line, uh, Bill, for that yet. I know. I actually called, believe it or not, y'all. They said, well, you're you're, you're over too, 65. You're, you're not young. 65. Right. You're too young. I said, so what? <laughs> I need to have mine. No, you ain't 65. It's, I told him I have an underlying job. You're not 65. They didn't care what I had to say, okay? If you ain't 65, 
Yeah, that was funny, here. okay. September Hilton already got both shots. Oh, Congratulations. Oh. Brenda says she's not getting it. Uh, most of the state isn't. <laughs> You're next. A lot of people are kind of apprehensive because we feel like it hadn't been tested. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's just a personal choice. It's know? a personal choice. Yeah. Yes, Carmine, I heard that Johnson & Johnson is supposed to be coming out with one, but they only have one shot. That'd be a great one there. Okay, I'm going to color this one in. Let's see which color, which color. I think I'm going to do this color right here. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been coloring forever, huh? Mimi B, I don't think, I don't know. Mimi B said her dance, they heard those that are 60 and over don't need it. Hmm. I didn't hear that. I think there's so much research going on right now. So many, you know, different uh, observations going on. So I think what's happening is they're just not just getting to the watch. point where they're getting exact real information out of people. So people are kind of really starting to. Within the next couple of weeks, we'll all be on one page. Hopefully. Oh, Barbara Lang says, when is the next crafting at midnight? Oh, everybody's asking. <laughs> as soon as we know, because we, you know, that other one, I have to tell you, I was so tired after that one was done. Bill will tell you, I was in bed for... Almost a whole weekend, which is so unlike me. It sure is. Tracy was there forever. As long as she's crafting. But if she's not crafting, she will sleep immediately. As soon as I get in front of that TV. Sometimes. All the time. It don't matter. The first scene is they're blowing people up. You're still sleeping within... In 60 seconds, that's it. You're done. What's that? We went to that movie theater. What's the one? The real nice one with the... Um... This was before the pandemic. This is the one pandemic, had, uh, of course. But it had the nice layback chair. It wasn't the rock. It was another and the, guy. And the dinner. You eat the dinner. You know, the one you go yes. to and you eat the dinner. Um, what was that? Oh I fell God. asleep in that we one. We both fell asleep. I ate so much. It was a shame. That was How do you birthday, go out on a date and fall asleep? Okay. How do you have a date night and just fall asleep? <laughs> Yeah, Peggy Powell, I heard that too. They say John, but Johnson and Johnson's only sixty percent accurate. Yeah, I kind of heard that. My thing is, if I gotta take a shot, you better at least be ninety, like the like the other ones. Uh oh, UPS truck. Uh oh, is he slowing down? He's slowing down. I don't know why the UPS truck comes around the time of our lives, huh? Mess with us. He went bad. Maybe he's going to the other house. Oh, okay. Let me get my from my camera and look. I got so tired of looking out the window. We put uh cameras on the house. Please. All right. Y'all, I'm busy cutting. I can't read your comments. You know what? I understand, Brenda. That's the thing that everyone's worried about. Brenda says she, she just she feels leery taking any vaccine that hasn't been tested. For at least five years. Some people, some of them require 10, some 25. They haven't done any testing and it kind of makes her somewhat apprehensive. And, yeah. I've and I think as we get further and further out, um, do we know anyone that has it yet, has gotten it yet? What you mean, the shot? the shot? I don't personally know anyone. No, I was just wondering. I think a few people are posting like their results on Facebook just to let us know how they feel. Um, I do have a friend that's a fireman. And he got his second um, shot. He said he was a little bit achy, but then he started feeling really good. Yeah, there are people here on this live that have gotten it. Mm -hmm. 
Some people, I think Joanne Gilbertson got both of hers. Oh, yeah, she oh, was fast, that. too. My last one of these flowers, y'all. I hope y'all are crafting along with me. Or y'all just watching. Or maybe just lurking. Yep, Cindy W says, our daughter had COVID. And when she went back to work, she had to have a shot. Mm -hmm. It made her run the fever again. The second shot did the same thing for two days. But, but she was good. Yeah, good. she went back to work. That's great. That's Praise great. God. Okay. Yeah, we Cindy. just, we want this thing to, you know, just be behind us as, you know, and in, in hopefully in the near future. Ashley Hammond says she's making hair jewelry. Oh, wow. That's so Ash, is that hard? Hair jewelry. Okay, so what time is it? I have to have this mac and cheese done by around 4.30. <laughs> um, how much? How far according to my are? sister. Well, he's going across the street. Hmm, not our package, huh? Okay, now I can start putting some of these together. Y'all see what I'm doing? It's okay to add more color to this if you want, right? Sour oh. Queen says she's drinking mint tea. Oh, nice. There you go. And why are you doing that? Because you can. I'm adding my own little colors in here. Just because it looks one way doesn't mean that you can't just color it in and make it transform into something else, right? Okay, I need my trimmer so I can trim down some of these. Your girl Trey is asking a question. Is macaroni and cheese a dish or is it a meal? It's both. Mm. If you have a bunch of stuff and it's Thanksgiving, I think it's a dish. It's it's a dish. But if you're like me and you say, you know what, I'm fixing to get off, and all I want is macaroni and cheese with the sweet potatoes on top of it, it has now become a meal. And you see why and he's you, go to you the see doctor. why he's in the dilemma that he's in. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see why, right? <laughs> Uh, I have to be the bad cop sometimes, y'all. Just because. Me and Kelly Chung on the same page. Kelly agrees with me. It's a meal. Well. Hi, Sandra Arrington. Hey, Sandra. Okay, so let's see that. And we Hi, take Blooming Cactus. Blooming Cactus says it's 4 a.m. where she's at. Where, where are you from, Blooming Cactus? Wow, 4 a.m. and you're up? Yes, what are you doing up? It's so late that it's early. Let's see, I have some paper down here. Linda Huffman is drinking orange cinnamon tea with international creamer. Delighted. Sorry, y'all, I'm getting some more paper, right? <laughs> As if I need any more, huh? Y'all like, what on earth is she doing now? Oh, LoadedCoco.com says, I'm writing a cookbook right now. Oh, wow. Inspired to cook, eat, and finish the book today. So glad you went on today. That is phenomenal, Loaded Coco. We got some people doing some stuff. I love to hear when people are just, just putting it out there. Yep. All these talented, all these different talents that, that everyone has. Believe me, everyone See. has an audience. You may listen to those voices that have been planted in your mind. It says that you're not enough or whatever you have is not of interest to anyone, but you don't listen to those. Yeah, don't listen to There those. are people out there waiting on your gift. Yep. You have, everyone has a very specific specific and particular audience. 
Yes, they do. Oh, uh, Brenda Bottler says, someone's talking about sweet potatoes. It must be a sign I've been craving sweet potato pie so often. Mm. Brenda, I love sweet potato pie. We have, uh, yeah, Bill makes a really good sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie, okay. I guess I'll have to make some macaroni and cheese for him. Ooh. I Tracy, guess I can't will. make some macaroni and cheese. I'm sorry, okay? I guess I will. It's one of those recipes where you don't have a recipe. You just add this and you add that and you just know how much it is. Like without measuring oh. stuff. Blooming Cactus is from Asia. Sweet. Well, hello. You know what, Brenda? It's a pretty basic recipe. I think the, the only thing, place where I differ compared to some people, I might use... I kind of go by feel on how many potatoes I'm going to use, but you have the sweet potatoes, sugar to to to, to your satisfaction. Mm. You know, some people don't like that much, some like more, but you have it. Yeah, puts a lot, lot of like. sugar on it. No, I don't put much, nearly as much as I used to. Um, evaporated milk. Mm. I have butter. I like to use real butter, not margarine. Um, just a just a bare hint. Yeah, now we have to have. He has to do of, this allspice and nutmeg. Not much because I don't want it to taste like a pumpkin pie. I think the thing that I like that really put takes over the top is I use both vanilla. You know, it, it gotcha. just really puts that thing on it. Gotcha, babe. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, y'all, it's coming together now. Let me get my card base. Another thing, some people like their... Every so often, I might try to put a touch of flour in it. I don't put a lot. If I do, just enough to kind of say I did it. But I like to put it in the, in the refrigerator first. Some people like to eat right out of the uh, oven. But I find that when I put it in the refrigerator, it does something to the composition of the sweet potato pie. And I eat mine up. I After, like to afterwards, mine. you can heat it up. Yeah. But you have to put it in the, the consistency. First. Yes, the consistency. Okay, let me put this on here first. Put this first. And then Bye, Kathleen else. German. Bye, Kathleen. Thanks for joining us. If, if there's anyone that does something different, let me know. I may test out that. Mm -mm. It's perfection the way it is, babe. It was soft. It Wifey soft. approved. <laughs> you better not change that one thing. Right, and the next day. I like it better oh, the next yes. day. The next day? That's like banana pudding. The next day, okay? Next day. You know who's a good cook too, John, our artist. Yeah, yeah. He actually. really loves, to, and he he just loves to cook. Cardi girl says, "I just finished a blanket." Oh wow! Crocheted, knitted. What kind of blanket? What color is it? Blue. He is creating, okay. Blooming Cactus. I love that name. Okay, y'all, so now comes the card oh, part. This is when you know you love crafting, Tracy. Michelle Trito says, when I go to heaven to see the Lord and my husband, I just hope God will let me continue to craft in heaven. Mm. Now that's some love right there, okay? By September, September has to go. See you, September. Do you remember? Okay, now we Cardi Girl says crochet in navy blue. I know mm. it's good. Blue is my favorite color, Cardi. So I know it's good. 
Tracy's mom did a new one. I, crochet. I had that thing crochet. so much as a shame. Crochet, darling. Whatever it's called, I do it. I, I have that. <laughs> I do it every and day. My mother would tell you she crochets. It can be summer. I use it. Yep. <laughs> I just love it. Did, you, like ever, a, did you ever take that blanket to my mother? No, I can't part with it. Bill has had, he put a hole in, I think in, my toenail did something to it. in my mom's crochet <laughs> blanket. I need to get the head trimmer to get them toenails. Yeah, toenail you got. Toenails. Up. Blankets in half. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> that was one oh, toe. Goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Brenda talking about my husband is there waiting for me. My death is like my life. I'll probably be late. <laughs> Yo, Brenda, my dad used to that always is, that talk about so people. Funny. Some of his friends, he said, "Man, that, he said that child will be late for his own funeral." <laughs> Cardi girl says, "Now working on needlepoint." My mother used to do needlepoint. Now I could either add something like this in, right? I could add these little. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got before I start adding stuff it's, in. It's very see. Barbara Link said, Jeremiah said he, he would slap her for something he made. <laughs> y'all are coming. Y'all still go. Jeremiah, don't you Jeremiah, go. Jeremiah. Go smack your mama. Well, you can run to my house if you give me a million. I'll hide, <laughs> hide you from your mama. Oh, that is hilarious. Okay. Y'all got the kids in on this too. The 17 million. I help you slap her. I hold her <laughs> down while you do it. <laughs> that is just too much. Jeremiah, don't listen to him. And when Jeremiah gets out the hospital, then what? Me and me and Jeremiah both, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are too funny. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this out right here. Bye, Sheila Overstreet. She her See hubby you, just Sheila. got home from work. Tell she has hubby love we, on the hubby. Tell hubby we said hi. Happy day. There we go. I'm going to cut that happy day out. Right? Because I could put that there too. Gwen Watson says, I finished the Valentine's for the retirement nursing home. Oh, nice. Wow. Gwen had a lot of cards to... um. For the nursing home Gwen too. Is a beast. She okay. had a lot. Gwen, how many cards? Tell everyone how many cards. I mean, what a wonderful, um, loving thing to do. Such an act of wonderful act of kindness. See, I could send this card to anybody. You know, just has a little bit of everything in it. Now, of course, because I did that, it needs that one little thing. And it's not going to have stitching all around, but at least just there. Yeah, as soon as we know the date for the, um, getting back to, um, Mindless crafting at midnight. As soon as we know that date, um, I'll have it for you. We'll probably know. Well, I got to look at my calendar. Okay. These here. A couple of those there. light green oh you know what this other one what other one this other color here i think will be good on here just on the outside i think it'll make the card pop that green is cute too but well, i could do both y'all see what i'm doing here uh-oh Got some stuff on there. What are they saying about? 
Nothing. She is a sweetheart. Who's that? I answered Tracy's question, Bill. Did you see it? No. What was the question? Look, I forgot what the question... Oh, about the cards. How many you made? 210 cards. And Debbie sent you 50 to help. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of cards. How... You know, and that's going to be such a, imagine, well, such a blessing, being able to bless someone with your card making or bless many people with your card making. How awesome is that? Linda Hoffman said her crafting ministry made 65 cards. Nice. For their senior recreation center. Bye, yeah. Carmina. I think I missed it. Y'all might have seen it by already. Hi, Brenda Hightower. Hey, Brenda. Brenda, look at the cards that I'm making, Brenda. Okay, that blue. So this one, now I'm going to get the bluish. Um... Okay, so we got this one here. Look how different some of these look. Bertha yeah. says it's crocheting where you use a tool in your finger. She doesn't know the difference. Crocheting is where you use the one needle. Knitting is using we use two needles. Oh, but knitting has those really long ones, huh? The two long knit. Uh, yeah. But your mother can do that too, though. Mm-hmm. I can do it too. I just don't. But she likes the crocheting better. Huh? She, my mother taught us how to. Uh... Yeah, Cardi Girl says crocheting is one hook. Right. Okay, so this one, just cut this down about here. Here. I'm going to leave that like there. I'll cut this down to around there. Okay. Try not to think about it too much. And this one here. This paper is. is beautiful you can do so much it has so many colors so many different colors in there um you could do so much with it okay so this one i'm gonna take let's see how this blue i like that blue in there but in order to give it a little bit so you kind of see it more i'm just gonna put this on here just like that Right there. Uh, I need some black paper just because I think this will be better if I give it just a slight little outline. Y'all see what I'm doing here? And look, I'm not even going to put in the paper trimmer. I'm just going <laughs> to. Eyeballing, huh? I'm just eyeballing it. That's my technique. Today is an eyeball kind of day. All of them are those kind of days for me. Marcia Burton says, I've been crocheting since I was in the third grade. I started out knitting, then switched to crocheting. In the third grade, the needle was probably bigger than you, the, the uh, knitting needle. Okay, that helps. That just helped. Okay. So now I'm going to get a few of these little black ones. See how this, these go a long way, y'all. If you don't, I'll share the link to these because you got to get these in your stash. Hey, Jessica Williams is on here. Yes. Hey, Jessica. And so is Lynn Densley. Hey, Lynn. Welcome on this Friday afternoon. 
welcome to our release, right? Hi, Tasha Firsty Huffman. Oh, there's something about making that kind of off kilter there. I like it. Brenda Hightower says, ordered my stamp set. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for for supporting us. So let me ask you a question. You, I, there's a lot of conversation about people who make vanilla. When who you make say who? you make vanilla, what do y'all mean? Like Brenda Botwin got two liters of Mexican vanilla. Yes, Cindy W started making her own vanilla. Hmm. What, what do you mean? What do you do with it? Sonia Creel says she's going to be uh, begin doing those small cards. They're perfect for her needs. She's so inspired. Aren't these cute? I mean, just take in little and then go big if you want to. But if you want to keep it small then you, and you say, hey, I just want to do something, just just a little something, you know? Oh, I get it. Cardi Girl says it's for baking, like vanilla extract. Little yeah. Huffman says okay, Mexican that's what I was thinking. It's wonderful chocolate recipe, stuff like that. Lynn Disney says, I received my first order from you yesterday, and I love everything. Oh, I'm so glad. Cindy says, I need to organize. I have a bunch of things I have trouble finding. Mm. Me too. Have, have you ever went and bought something that you already had? Confession time, y'all. Have you ever bought something? Go ahead, raise your hand. <laughs> if you bought something that you already have. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> no judging. Murder Seinfeld has two. He has 200 Porsches. He collects them. I wonder if he has a Porsche he bought twice because he had so many he forgot that he had it. Hmm. Oh, to Patty says, I just got paid. I'm ready to order some stamp sets. <laughs> to Patty. To Patty. Brenda Bravo says she's done that many times. Dupl all kind of duplicate stuff. I there. know. And then you're like, how come I have five of these? I prefer to buy it again because I can't tell you how Tracy has said, oh, we got that at home. Oh, I got that. We come home, it ain't nowhere to be found. And then I got to go right back out. And get it. So I rather duplicate it. I'll, I'll have extra. I don't remember that, but I okay. Do. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember that, y'all. Oh, Linda Huffman said that I gave her permission to have a craft house, so she doesn't feel bad that she has so many things that she bought more than once. There you go. I'm with you, okay? Hi, Kelly Geyer. <laughs> Hey, Kelly. Oh, and seeing Williams Jim. says she just gives her extras to her grandkids. Oh, who so just started sweet. The craft. So sweet. Exactly, Brenda. Brenda says, I bought things again that I knew I already had just because it's easier to try to find the first one. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm right there with you. Yes, Eva. Eva says, can you use the Digi Steps? Uh, the same as SVG for cricket. I think you should be able to. That's what someone asked. Yeah, they yeah. asked that earlier, mm -hmm. and they yep. There's several people that do that. Yeah, it's just a file. I'm just yeah. Linda Huffman is answering it. Thank you, Linda. Linda says the digital stamps upload to cricket very well. Nice. That cricket. Okay. Oh, one day, y'all. Tisha First Hoffman says, I buy stuff I know I have, just can't find when I need it until I go and buy some more. <laughs> then, of course, what she had shows up. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So the nice thing is that I already have my noodles and stuff, my macaroni boiled for the macaroni and cheese. So that's already cooked. Gotcha. So it's just basically... Putting the other stuff together. Hey, Tisha, you be like, I done went and bought another husband, and here you come showing up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Don't listen to him, okay? Sonia Creole, she 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 works her digital sales with a cricket. Nice. So you guys are technical. I'm afraid that if I get a cricket, I won't use it and it'll become another I'm afraid machine. You get it, you'll never come out of the room. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid what of. What about that, huh? Look at this. Brenda Bible says, Tracy. If you don't have a cricket by Mother's Day, I'll send you one. Stop. I Red can't take my red. room. My room is really like it's it's bursting at the seams, y'all. There's always room. Marcia Burton Poor says, <laughs> but how do you upload? Linda is there a YouTube to watch for uploading digitals. I bet you there's a ton of them. You know what, Marcia? If you just type in there, how to upload a digital image. To whatever the model cricket you have, a zillion uh, videos will come up. Just pick the one that speaks to you. I'm just going to put this little tag on here just because, because I can. Huh. Tisha says she finally bought her cricket, Explore Air. Mm -hmm. It does vinyl and paper craft cutting. She has to build her table where she can craft on it. Before she can use it, she has to have a special place. Yeah, that's. I need a larger. Um, <laughs> I got no slide. I need a larger. Craft, I need a larger craft room. And not another thing can come in here. There's just, just not keep enough me room. and the dog out. You have room there. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Look. Hmm. Uh oh, you're right, Brenda. Ben the Bible says, "Well, Bill, better get on those craft room expansion plans." Hmm. It's your business. It's a tax write-off. There's no way to ex nowhere to expand to. That's Hold the on. thing. Linda Hoffman is a beast. Casey. Linda Hoffman has four cricket machines. Woo! She operates one with each hand and the other two with each foot. Okay? She <laughs> does not play. Uh, she's like, I did not come to play. Kelly Guy says, do you load up on our glitter glue so you don't run out of winter? I sure do. Now, that's one thing that you can never have enough of. I will not run out of she art glitter glue. have a lot down there. What do you mean down there? It's up here. You acting like I don't, that I'm keeping your, uh, oh, you got it. like I'm taking your area. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all hear him? Y'all heard him, right? Huh. Yeah, that'll work. Michelle Trito says, I want to get a sewing machine. Mm. Exactly, Margie. Margie says, Bill, buy a bigger house. Jacqueline Robinson has a cricket. <laughs> she loves it, too. That'll solve it. Brenda Bravo says, look, just tear the outside wall out and then expand. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> get the neighbor to move out and then just move move the craft room to that house exactly okay y'all that's true Bertha says the more room you have the more you go buy mm, now that's true that is so true. Sonia Creel says a scanning cut will be my next thing. So we have that. We have a scanning cut. Because it, it did suit our purposes. Because when we needed a lot of images cut out for different things that we did. If you're for teaching classes, a class or yeah. something and you need two or three hundred images of each thing, a scanning cut is, is the thing, okay? We got. I'm gonna curve it like that. Mimi B says, "Then I'll have a double garage. I need a quadruple garage." What you trying to say? <laughs> then I know I'll have room. How adorable is that? I like it under the sentiment though. <sighs> like right here. 
Y'all, am I not having fun? <laughs> the Bill's got a video to edit, too. Yep, I do. So we can get that out to y'all. Celebrate. Find the beauty in everything. This card is layered. Lots of layers on this. Brenda said, just run the neighbors out. Just be creepy, they'll move. <laughs> but they're already creepy. We have to be real creepy. I'll creep them. Which neighbors are you talking just kidding, about, though? neighbors. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> neighbors are you talking you about? Yeah, all right, ghoul. Like, okay. I heard you on that I don't, they don't know what we do anyway. Exactly. So. You just I look. All <laughs> of we, everybody lie. heard it. Right. Like, what? Which neighbor are you talking about? <laughs> hmm. We have one neighbor, I promise you. You never, I, I have seen them go in and out of their house. How long have we been here, Tracy? About four years? Four or five years? I might have seen him go inside and outside the house. Maybe maybe ten times. What name was that? The one's right next door to me, Right there. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right. See, I, I forgot. You never that, see them. I forgot that they're there. Every blue moon, <laughs> you might see a car come in yeah, the garage. Yeah, it's like... You don't see the person. You see the car go in and the garage close. And then I might have seen him cut the grass about four times. So I know I know there are human beings there. Mm. And when you see out. them come I mean, in, it's really late. They've waved to us. They're probably working, babe. Oh, really early. Leave them neighbors alone. Kelly Guy says, what if they're watching this? You know what? <laughs> Our neighbors don't know what we do. We're very. DMC says maybe they're vampires like her. We're very secretive. Yeah, they could be vampires. Okay. They have no clue what we do. And we don't for sure have no clue what they do. Okay. Right. <laughs> I can promise you this. And hopefully, it's nothing illegal, right? <laughs> no, they're never home, so they, it can't be illegal. They, they might, might work. They it might for watch real. us. I they think might. they're working for real. I don't think they're watching us. There are people out there now that, that are working three jobs, Trace. Not two, three. Some people don't know what we do, so for sure. Like, you know. I had Like, a... we went to... Remember that one thing we went to, that event? We were there for Little Storybug. But the lady had, like, a basket booth set up. Mm -hmm. And I, I went over to her booth. It was like... Um, I, said, I said, wow, those are beautiful baskets. And she said to me... She's like, oh my goodness, I learned watching this woman on um, on YouTube, Gift Basket Appeal. And so I just let her talk. <laughs> remember? Do you remember when we oh, went I remember. I, yeah. I really remember. And um, well, Tracy was trying to tell us something. Well, you know what you could do? Oh, you don't have to tell me because I learned from Gift Basket Appeal. No, I didn't try to tell her what to you do. Did. I heard you were telling us something and she had this No, I was sound. saying that her... Thing was, she was like, "Oh yes, I've been making baskets for she years." Said, no, I, I learned from I the learned, best. Pill. I learned from the best. Yeah, I learned from. That's what I found. I found. <laughs> you might as well say all that you about to say. I wasn't going to give her any suggestions, babe. I was just. I think she went over to her know. table because we were there for a fair, and her stuff was really nice. So there was no nothing to tell her because guess what? She learned. Because you told her. All. So when she finally. Found out. Um, she, I can't, out she was really her, not only was she freaking out, she her friend, her friend that was helping her with the table was like, because I didn't even tell her. I think she she kind of guessed it as we started, you know, we kept conversating. Cause I told her, I said, Oh yeah, I make baskets too. But I didn't tell her. <laughs> that was hilarious. But we were actually there to talk about children's literature, which was so I didn't expect to see someone. 
Hi, Donna Satterley. Donna Satterley's back? Yes. Wow, Donna. Donna, yeah, we're still on. That sounded like the Quilton Marines um, motor, it might be. Uh, you know, Mustang, didn't it? Weird is my... it sounded like his Mustang, didn't it? You know, his stuff is very distinct. Oh, that sounds like him, Trace. I believe that's him. Is that him? That sounds like his Mustang. That sounds Mustang. like him, because he likes <laughs> to go down the street and come back. I bet that's him. Trace, look. What is he doing here started early? on the macaroni and cheese. Bill, I said I have the noodles done. Yeah, well, that ain't started on it. Until they come, <laughs> until they go in the oven, that's not starting. You have to tell him that. We won't tell so him that it's not done. He don't even have the mac and cheese. He's going to turn around and leave. What? <laughs> okay. That is hilarious. Okay. Tell, let him know that we're live. Right. Y'all, he got his mask on. Everybody's masked up. Okay. That's the Quilting Marine. Ain't that something else? How adorable is that? Okay. I'm moving right along, y'all. Look, look, I'm moving right along. Look, you hear Bill how loud he is? Bill. We're, we're live. <laughs> Okay. Your, your wife told me 4 30. And you leave wow. you leave <laughs> Hello, Quilty Marine. What's up, Trace? What you working on? Well, uh, we're doing a live right now. Say hi to everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> hey, I know. I've, I've been out the game for a minute, but I'll be back soon. <laughs> we're, we're dealing with some issues right now. Ah, oh, there you go. Just gotta take your time, you know. I need to take some stuff off this thing. Yeah. Hold up. Um. So I'll close that door. Video to her? Yeah. I, I, uh, I think she's Everyone's it. saying hi. Hi, QM. What's up, Arabelle? TQM. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Everyone saying hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we knew that was your car. We were like, man. Uh, I said that sound like Mark. I said, but I haven't, I haven't driven that thing in like a month. I said, but he, so that's why summer. you that's why you were speeding at top speed then. Oh huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're gonna drive, you gotta drive it all the way. Mm. <laughs> hey y'all, you know what? Everything Mark has ever had sounds like Loud, that. I don't okay. care if it's a motorcycle. He had a tricycle one time. And... <laughs> <laughs> motorcycle, big <laughs> wheel. <laughs> yeah. uh, a house full of noise is a house full of love. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Mark came in making noise. Okay. Look at that, y'all. I'm in love with this card. I know I keep saying that about all the cars, but I'm really in love with this one. All right, so you can sit down, take your time, relax, and make your you make your cards, video, right? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Just kind of take this right here. Margie, Margie Ryan said, hi, Quilty Marine. <laughs> yeah, I bet Mark, when he had a big wheel, it probably didn't have any sound when it, it left the, the store. It, you know, when it left the, the store, wheel. but he probably <laughs> made something. He probably jimmy rigged it, and then it got to make it loud. You never have... You didn't have a big wheel, Mark? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You said you have a big wheel? No, I usually stole my big wheel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let me not let them they know. Yeah, that. Everybody else is big wheel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Mark talking about he stole somebody big wheel. 
to watch the person be right on this live. <laughs> he got a lot going on because you know he Mark Mark works him and my sister, so it, it's yeah. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Marcia, Mark is married to my sister. Mark is my brother-in-law. <laughs> Ah. He's a gem, though. Known him since he was 16, 17. So, yeah. Oh, what did y'all say? Y'all said something about good ideas. <laughs> yeah, when Mark and Bill get together, you already know. Look, you already know Bill is loud. But the two of them together... Uh, really loud, okay? Yeah, they've been on. They haven't been on in a minute, but they're gonna get back into it. They just gotta take a little break. Yeah, and it's okay to take a break sometimes, you know. Marcia, you said one day you'll find Mr. Wright. Yes, you will. Okay. One day. How about that right there? Just for you. That looks cute. I'm going to slip that right under there. When you aren't looking, that's when it'll happen. That's how I found Bill. I wasn't really looking. I was not looking. Okay. There he went. <laughs> he should make a bunch of quilts. Yeah. And then put them online. I told him to do that before, but he's just, it's just his kind of quilting is just not, you know, like, he doesn't want to put him up for like, you know, for sale. <laughs> oh, y'all like, who is Mark? You said, who is Mark? Mark is my brother-in-law. He's the quilting Marine on YouTube. Him and my sister have their channel. My brother-in-law, Mark, is the quilting marine. Subscribe to their channel. He's got a lot of good, especially, even if you don't like the quilt, he just has a really good persona. You know, so um, many of you on here are subscribed to his channel. I think he's going to, I think he's going to hit 30,000 subscribers soon. Mark, you can't hear me. Him and Bill are trying to fix something. Good luck with that, okay? The stitching, I don't know, y'all. The stitching just really sets it off. It just does, you know? Look at that. No, uh, is that Denaya? De Denaya Martinez. This this jewel box. I don't have it. I don't have it in my store. I I got this off Amazon, and but it's so many of them in there. Look at that. I'll never run out. <laughs> Seriously, I think this has ten thousand. Yeah, Jessica McKenzie said, it's crazy how long it takes for a normal person to get more than 100,000 subs compared to a celebrity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It does. I mean, if you get a hundred subscribers, then you're you're good to go. You know that that's a month. Ten subscribers. I remember when we got ten subscribers, and I I was just like, wow, people are watching. You know, but I always tell people if you're gonna do YouTube, be yourself, because when you're not yourself, you'll burn out. Trying to be someone else. It takes too much energy. Just be you. Yeah, it's a blessing for me and Bill to be on YouTube. We love we've we've been, you know, we've lo we love the journey. Love the journey. So yeah, I'll share this box in my um I'll share this box in my uh in, in the description after this video, after this live. Uh, Cause a lot of y'all have been asking me about these, and I just love the way these little things. It's sometimes the littlest things that that make um, make your card pop, right? And so I think there might be. I think it says ten thousand. No, I think it might be ten thousand of these, something like that. I think that's how many is in here. Ten thousand. So I'm almost at the tail end of this thing. And I think, depending on, I got to get Mark's macaroni and cheese together. How cute is that? Might have to come back on tomorrow again, y'all. Might have to do a live tomorrow. How adorable is this? I want to put something across there. I'm not sure yet what it's going to be. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I'm going to cut just a little piece out of this. It's a little bit of this out right along here. Just giving you all the technique. Bill had to leave the room. Okay. Put that little bit right there. Don't be afraid to cut. <laughs> ah. You said don't tease. Oh, y'all would love another. Well, here's the thing is that I know because, Mar well, Mark is here and I have to make his macaroni and cheese before he leaves. And that way we can come back tomorrow and do another live. And we'll work on this. What do y'all think? Maybe about one, uh, uh, let's see. I'm thinking possibly tomorrow about maybe about one o'clock, same time that we came on today, one o'clock. But I still, because I still have these two to go to. Uh-oh, I hear repairs going on. That is pretty. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Is that not adorable? Let's see. So I'll use this one. This paper pad is so cute. Um, one o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, I thought about coming on on Saturday, and I was like, "Well, no," but now, now I have a reason to. Tomorrow at one, I think that will be fun. That's cute, but I need something with a little bit more pattern on it. 
yeah, and that way I can do I can do the owls and kind of take my time, right? Because guess what? It's Saturday. <laughs> Wait till Bill hears that we're going to go live again tomorrow. Because all he's going to do is sit up in the couch, so we might as well, right? <laughs> yeah, my washing machine broke down, so Bill and Mark are over there fixing it. And my dog is freaking out because he hears banging, okay? So if y'all hear that banging, it's the washing machine getting fixed. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Got two more cards to do. But this was fun. That. How cute. Let's go a little bit slender on this one. Right there. And this is patio, patio party paper. Sorry, I can't see your comments. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that link, uh, Donna. Hopefully it's the four millimeter um, gems. I'm still trying to, he over there trying to help Mark. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> good luck with that one. Okay. Oh, yes. There we go. That's going to be pretty. I need, I need white though. So you can't, sometimes you can't rush the creative process here. I'm having so much fun doing this. leave a little bit of a border around this so I'm going to just here and then cut I'm going to glue it on and then cut it sorry if I can't see your comments but y'all go ahead and chat amongst each other we'll be back on tomorrow I'll have to let Bill know <laughs> I'll have to make him some mac and cheese so he feels like coming back on again tomorrow. I'm eyeballing it, y'all. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. So hopefully this gave y'all a little bit of inspiration to create some pretty cards for the spring. It's like this. And then, oh, well, and don't forget, we got a video coming out. Bill's going to edit that video and release it sometime this evening. Okay, just right there. See what else we got here that we can add to this. No, I do like this though. Thanks a bunch because I can always, I'm always sending thank you cards, so this will be great. Right about there. My poor dog is wondering what on earth is all that banging. Y'all scaring my gooby. <laughs> a 
It's okay, Goobs. Right there. Thanks a bunch. Okay, and now get my card base. Look how easy that goes on. Tracy can can do those cards and mine will be a two <laughs> it will be a two piece. Thanks, Tracy. <laughs> I can do those cards and mine. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're flat back, um, flat back pearls, four millimeter. But I will definitely share. Um, I'll share the link for y'all. The exact ones that I have, I'll share that. Something about threes, right? Okay. There you go. Here's another one. And I add something else in here. I want to add some little gems right there. I can. If I want to take my stick and go around the flowers, which is something I might do. Um, just take my stickles and just go right around the flowers to add some sparkle, maybe on the leaves too, so the leaves look like they're wet. Okay, so I've got some leftover paper over here. Let's see what else we got here. The Valentine glasses, which ones? The ones that you put on the, um, are those the glasses that you put? You mean the sunglasses? I know there's some heart-shaped glasses, but are you talking about drinking glasses, the Valentine one? Ooh, that would be pretty. Look at this, y'all. That would be a pretty one with a little bit of pink in it. Hmm, let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Because you can't be afraid to cut up your paper, right? So this one will be on the outside there. and okay now I need something else that has Let's see what I want to do with this ooh look at that y'all huh that does that looks nice that stripe I'm going to use this one. This looks nice and bright, too. Mm -hmm. Right about there. Of course, I'm saving that, right? Because no paper gets thrown away. <laughs> See that? Don't be afraid. I know I love a good a black and white striped paper. I love it. Something about the black and white striped paper. You can use it with just about everything.
And this paper has so many different things that make it look so good. How do I, let's see, where is my corner rounder thing here? Let's see, I'm gonna round the corners of this. I don't even know how many cards I made during this session. Sorry, I can't. Uh... <laughs> Let's see who. What are y'all talking? Y'all talking about what? Oh, I've seen several people do auctions. We actually met a woman at the post office that does auctions. Sorry, I had I missed something. Oh, I think Brenda, I think you were telling us about that before about have a crafters auction. That sounds pretty cool. I know some people have like crafters garage sales on their channels. So many things you can do with YouTube. My goodness. Okay, I'm just going to cut that little black outline around this. And this will be the last card. And tomorrow we'll come back on. Bill doesn't know it yet, but we'll be back on tomorrow. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet. But I literally can craft all day. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. A craft auction. Let us know, Brenda. Find me on Facebook and write me a private message me or something. Because that sounds really cool. Yep, turn it this way. Just like that. For some reason I like that going over the side, the edges. Okay, y'all. Let's hold that there for a minute. How cute. Goodness, that's cute. And now on this white area here, drop some gems. Right on that white area. And guess what? I got kind of a goldish color. Hmm. Gold would be nice, but I think the black, for some reason, will bring out the black right around here, too. Huh. Talked about color coordinating. I don't know why these are stuck together. I'll just use another one. Oh, those are stuck together. Oh, no. There you go. Look at that, okay? Uh, the gold stripes, you like the gold stripes? Aren't they adorable? So yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow at one o'clock Saturday, one o'clock Eastern. One o'clock Eastern.
My bestie asked me, is me is weak if asked me this week. I missed your comment just now. Let me see. Let me go back and look at your comments. <laughs> Crystal B. Queen, you said, I literally have enough stuff to begin a, a store for crafts. There's a lot of people that do that. They do a lot of de-stashing too. Uh, let's see. Looking to see if there's any questions. Let me look and see what y'all are saying here. Yeah, definitely, Brenda. Let us know. Donna, you said you won't be able to be on with us tomorrow live. That's okay. Hopefully you can get to do the rewatch with us. And we've got a video coming out this evening. Bill got it. Bill has to um edit it. So yeah, it's been a busy day though. Now I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese for my brother-in-law. And we're good to go. Look at this. Just to show y'all all of the different things. I'm just going to add stickles to this one so y'all can see what it looks like. And I think tomorrow it'll be nice and dry. Just around the edge. Just around the edge here. We'll be on live tomorrow. Yes, Sonia. All right, Lynn. Yes, catch us tomorrow. We'll we'll do something with the um Al Digi stamp for tomorrow. Sorry we didn't get to do it today, but that's okay. We will be on. It gives us another chance to get together again tomorrow. You're gonna be like Tracy and Bill been on four times this week. So I don't even have a sentiment with this. I'll probably uh, stamp it on the inside once it dries. So look at that. We're just putting that little bit of glittery stuff around the edge. I love stickles. So look at all of the stuff we made. Well, that one stamp set. Look what all the stuff it did. So tomorrow we'll do more. And I will definitely post the gems where y'all can get those gems on Amazon. Along with the markers. Cute. So go ahead and get your stuff. Um, this I know we have in limited quantity. So, um, but there's 10% off on this. On the uh, Beauty and Everything. And also the Owl Love Digi Stamp. So come, come join us tomorrow, y'all. We'll be on again tomorrow. Thank you so much, Crystal. I'm glad you like it. Zara Queen, thank you. You can print it out ahead of time if you want, or you can just come on and join us, whatever you want to do. You bought the Cherish Our Friendship Digi stamp? That's a cute one, too. I won't forget the link. <laughs> I'll post the link for these, okay? All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Sorry Bill had to go. He has to go fix this thing. It's been out all week. So um, y'all head over to the Quilting Marines channel to see what he has. Lots of tutorials on there. Lots of, um, he's definitely, him and my sister do such a good job. I love mason jars too, Linda Huffman. We have a mason. Yeah, that mason digi is nice. All right, y'all. Have a blessed evening. Y'all take care. And don't forget, we'll be on tomorrow, Saturday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Y'all take care.
Bye.